We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! Welcome to the Mouthpiece, episode 41, year two. Today, we're going to talk about my online poker adventures this week. Uh, pretty much with not much else going on in the world. The days are going by quick. And we're going to have a special interview with uh, Mr. Phil Nagy, the CEO of America's Card Room. So buckle up. The Mouthpiece is next. What up, everybody? Mike the Mouth here. Friday, April 10th. The weeks are going by. The days are going by. The hours Episode are going 42, by. Episode 42, dumbass. Episode 42, dumbass? Okay, episode 42. Uh, see, the episodes are even going by. So I'm losing track of everything. Uh, we're uh, basically uh, just been playing a lot of online poker um we've been playing um some underground sites some regular sites some uh uh a little uh this little app called poker r r r r two and then we uh kind of all zoom in we all play in a little group fun little poker game uh we all get on zoom we make fun of each other uh it's a five and ten dollar game, yet somehow during the week uh, we've had uh, about three sixty thousand dollar pots in a five and ten dollar game. Uh, yeah, you heard that right. Uh, that's uh, what thirty two hundred thirty two thousand big blind, no, thirty two hundred big blinds a piece. Is that a five ten? Let me see. See a hundred big blinds is a thousand. Yeah, 3,200 big Sorry, ones it is episode 41. Yeah, I told you it was episode 41, you fucking idiot. Damn computer. I doesn't even know he's trying to met, fuck with my head here. So um, anyways, uh, so I've been pretty much uh, doing mostly that. Uh, I played uh, in this online room, a uh, little big O. I won... Uh, I don't know. A little bit of money. They enough where they kicked me off the site for winning too much. Uh but that's not my fault that they got a bunch of idiots that play on there. But of course, uh I guess it is my fault because uh you know, nobody wants to play with me. It's like uh I mean, would you want to play with a guy that wins every day? No. So uh so that that's the new that's the new norm is uh is they all kick me off because I win too much. Uh, story of my life, everybody, the story of my life. Um, but, um, no, I, you know, I've, I've just been playing small, trying to grind a little bit, uh, just can make enough money, get the bills paid as we're locked down here for three months. Um, I said it was going to be two months. It's, uh, it's looking more like about, uh, yeah, about two months, middle of May, maybe first week of June. Uh, at least I've gotten away from uh, politics and stuff. Uh, I don't. I try not try to watch any of the news anymore. Uh, try to just uh, focus on uh, playing some online poker. And uh, you know, there's uh, been a crazy week. I mean, we've had a uh, we've had some incredible hands. Uh, I don't know if you follow Phil Hummus, uh Twitter, uh, but uh, he somehow got forty thousand in pre flop with aces against. Uh, Brandon Cantu's ace queen and against uh, America's card rooms, uh, Phil Nagy, and he'll be joining us shortly uh, to talk about this, his site and a um, little bit of fun we've been having in uh, the uh, uh, little fun uh, poker games that we've been playing. Uh, Phil went absolutely crazy as uh, he always does. Unfortunately, he was off of our Zoom uh, when he lost his pot. So he really didn't, we, we kind of, uh, took the bad beat of not watching Phil go crazy, but he has gone crazy, uh, quite a few times and, uh, we have it all recorded. So there'll be some, some epic, uh, crazy, uh, zoom video that, uh, once I edit it, we put it out on the, uh, 
youtube.com slash Mike the Mouth. Uh, you guys will see some some funny epic meltdowns by Phil. Um, we're also talking about possibly um, uh, doing our little private game uh, through Poker Go uh, on the uh, uh, in which we'll be zooming uh, all of us that are playing in our private game and um, putting uh, the video to it. So uh, the people who are quarantined in their house that want to watch a uh, bunch of lunatics play five and ten dollars and uh and put crazy amounts of chips and uh it's actually kind of fun uh so far i think i'm up about mm, not much maybe six thousand for the two and a half weeks uh i uh they always kick me out of the good games uh so somebody else could get in the game so i really haven't gotten to play in the real good games uh, but it's okay because I don't really want to win or lose ten or twenty or thirty thousand a day. I don't even have that kind of money to lose. Uh, so uh, I've been playing kind of when the five ten game plays somewhat small. So I win or lose a couple grand. You know, I think the most I've lost in a day is four thousand, and the most I won in a day was ten thousand, uh, which was once. Uh, and I think that's pretty much. Other than those two days, I've been pretty much even since then. Uh, I did win a 20k big O pot on a site uh, in which I got it all in. I I had like ace, deuce, jack, queen, five, like with the suit, and the flop came king ten nine. Uh, I potted into five people. A good friend of mine called on the button. I actually thought he had three kings. Um, Turn card came a spade. I didn't have spades. I didn't even notice the spade came. If I, but it, either way, I still would have potted it because I, when he didn't raise me on the flop, I was, I was pretty sure he, he had three kings. But so now I, I bet and he raises me and we get it all in. We had like uh, ten thousand a piece and it came a jack on the river and I scooped the pot and he had a jack queen with spades. So he had like nine outs. I had like two or maybe. Uh, actually, a queen. I had like four, so he's like a little over two to one favorite. He's a good friend of mine. His name's Jason, and uh, he he took him about three days going crazy against me. Like every day, he was like, "Oh, the jack on the river, oh, the jack on the river." So that was a big pot I won uh, on that site, uh, but I no longer play there anymore because uh, they said I was too good. Uh, so now it's uh, basically my our little home game. And uh, that we're playing every day. So uh, with that said, uh, there's not really much going on. Uh, I don't really want to talk about the virus and shit anymore as, um, as there's no reason to really talk about it until they give us an all clear. There's uh, really not much else to talk about when it comes to that. So with that said, I am going to bring on the uh, CEO of America's Car Room, uh, Mr. Phil Nagy, and then we are going to open up the phone lines to anyone who wants to call in and ask Phil or me any questions during that lockdown. So uh, with that said, I'm going to bring on uh, Mr. Phil Nagy. Phil, you there. There he is. What up, Phil? Welcome to the mouthpiece, sir. Uh, I'm glad. Thanks for having me, Mike. Thanks for having me. You're very, very welcome. I'm glad you're able to come on here. And um, tell everybody that's listening, and I got a pretty good viewership. Uh, they play a lot of online poker. Uh, a lot of the adjustments that you've made with American Card Room and, and what uh, uh, going forward, uh, your, the plans for the site. Well, uh, it's, it's obviously we've been grinding pretty hard. Um, it's, it's the site has, I mean, you can see it's we're up. Uh, since the the whole lockdown, I mean, gosh, almost 300%. Um, right. Not exactly the, you know, the way we want to do it, but I've been definitely glad that we've been uh, uh, it's moving towards scalability and, and, and being ready for something, something like this to, for, before that big boom uh, is however it was going to happen. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's, it's, I'll tell you what, it's, it's definitely, I'm like the whole world's feeling the challenge of, uh, uh, being a, having to work from home and uh it's it's we've got almost 200 people working for us uh it's that we had to 
move out of the offices and work from home. Uh, it's it's in about a week. Uh, we've been working from home for about a month now. And when you're running a business that runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that is not an easy task. <laughs> yeah. So you're probably, um, you're probably not sleeping much besides playing poker with us every night. And well, at least that gives you a little bit of fun. I'll tell you what, it, it's, it's, I, I thank you guys so much because it's, it's, I didn't realize that working from home meant actually like working 18 hours a day because yeah. it's, it's, you usually, have, you're, you're able to walk out of the office and get away from everything. And now you, you, you there's, you're just there, right. Yeah. All the time. And uh, it's, it's, it's been adjustment. And there's some people at the office that, that adjusted really, really well. And I, I'm just not one of those people. Cause I'm a pretty sociable <laughs> person. I, it's, I yeah. enjoy going to work and, uh, and working with everybody and kind of being by yourself like that is rough. Yeah. Uh, yeah and I it's, know. it's, it's so thank you. Thank you for, for inviting me to my, to the game, even though, you know, I'm, I'm kind of the fish of the game. Well, right? yeah. What do you think we invited you for, man? You got, <laughs> listen, we, we do trade-offs, you know, like, we get you in our game. You give us a little money. Uh -huh. I put you on the mouthpiece. I get you some free advertisement. Hey, look at that. Plus, you one know hand what? washes the other. Listen, you got to watch. Listen, you wash my hands. I wash yours. So uh, tomorrow we are having uh, a uh, on your site a big uh, charity poker tournament. Would you like to tell all my listeners uh, that are to how, they're, how they could tune in now? Now, I know you yeah. have some special Twitch channel set up. I'm also going to be streaming it live from my uh, YouTube channel as I will yeah. be participating. Let everybody know what it is. Yeah, so we're, we're doing some, something pretty interesting. Uh, it's, it's we as America's Card Room donated a uh, million dollars uh, to wow, Feeding America, right? Uh, we are doing a charity tournament. It's a $10,000 buy-in. Um, and 100% of it goes to, uh, goes to feeding America. As a matter of fact, you cannot buy into the tournament, uh, uh, there on the site. Uh, it's, it's, you send, send a donation to feeding America, show us the receipt, and then we'll put you in the tournament. Wow, and the person great. that wins the tournament gets absolutely nothing. Yeah. Uh, my type of tournament. I'll probably right. win it. Right. Is that, oh, you're oh, you, no shot. You don't win this one, Mike. No Look, shot. Huh? I always right? win the ones that have no money in it. And you know what's great is is your shark scope will show that you like won a million dollars, right? So you'll be a super shark scope baller. Oh, wonderful! Uh, so that means everybody that I owe money to is going to be <laughs> calling me, thinking I won a million dollars. Absolutely. And I'm gonna have to have I'm gonna have to have uh we're gonna have to revert back to this podcast to tell everybody that I didn't win anything. And All but right. then just th th think of the, think of the, the the podcast viewership will go up, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, absolutely. It's a win-win. It's a win-win. Yeah. So, uh, there, there's a few there's a few different things that are happening here, um, and 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 this has just evolved. So it's it's taken us about. 10 days or 12 days that we put this all together. Right. Right. Um, I have to thank, I have to thank, uh, 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 Ben Affleck and, and Brooke is, is his publicist. Uh, they are freaking amazing. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, I got to, I got to talking to Ben. He came down here to Costa Rica a little while back. Uh, I got to talking to him and said, you know, it's, it's, he was interested in raising money for feeding America. And, uh, it's, it's, we started talking and this just kind of evolved into, what it is because I, it's, it's I, little old me. I don't have the contacts that that, right. that that he would have to put, put me in touch with these people. Um, but, but he does. And when I kind of presented it to him, I said, look, it's, it's, I don't really want to touch the money. I don't want to do, do anything, anything to do with the money. It's, right. I'll donate a million dollars. Right. It's, 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 you get people over there and, and, and they play for nothing. And just to, you know, it's, I'm not much of a name, name dropper, but I'll put right. right at the very top of the list. Mike Mattis, how's going to play? Yeah. Right? I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, we've got Ben Phil, Affleck. Phil Helmuth. Right. Phil Helmuth. Uh, it's Ben Affleck, Tom Brady, Adam Sandler, Jason Bateman, to uh, uh, Toby Maguire, Adam Levine, uh, Sarah Silverman, which I talked to Sarah Silverman last night. She's super, super funny. Yeah, um, she is. Uh, it's, it's Matt Damon. I talked to Doyle Brunson. He's going to be playing. And, uh, there's, it's, there's a big, there's a big list. Um, uh, you can, you can see it in the, in the lobby in America's card room. And, uh, I think there's some Twitter posts out there with all the confirmed, uh, players. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, and basically what we're doing is, uh, well, so here's one of the other very, very interesting things that happened. Um, I called up, 
I called up Rob Young, uh, the CEO for Party Poker, right, and says to him, you know, it's I'm friends with, I'm friends with Jeff Gross and 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 I know Jamie Staples, and it says, you know, we're doing this charity tournament. Uh, it's it's I don't know if 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 that's like drawing the line, asking them if you know they wanna they wanna be part of this, uh, uh, Jeff and Jamie. And he said, he said, no, absolutely. Go ahead. 100%. Yeah. Rob's a really nice guy. And he'll look but, at it. He'll probably look at it as, you know, they'll be uh, streaming it live and they'll be wearing their party poker gear. For so sure. It, well, it'll you be know good. What? It, it's, I, I think I've, I've had long conversations with him and you know, it's, it's people are not, people are not dumb, right? It's, it's right. poker players know there's more than one poker site out there, right? Yeah. It, it's, it, they just do exist. And, and it's for me anyway, to see uh, a, a company set aside, you know, uh, uh, the business and see the, the, what's more important and, and, and going that direction. And then just today, uh, it's, it's uh, Jason Kuhn reached out to me and said he would he'd love to donate and play in this tournament. So yeah. to see all these big name poker players come out and say, yes, I want to do I want to donate money to this and I want to go play for nothing. Right. Um, I've also been offered some, some last longer bets. So I'm sure there's going to be some side last longer bets between us poker players. <laughs> yeah, I'm in on that. Um, it's, it's, but I'm going to right now, I, I, I don't have, I don't have an exact total, but I do know that, um, some of the, some, some people have donated up to a hundred thousand dollars, right. Uh, uh, it's for their, for their buy-in. Um, awesome. it's, it's, we're going to be online with feeding, feeding America. And as people donate, whether it's through, uh, Je for, through your, for, through your Twitch channel, through Jeff's, through the America's card room, Twitch channel, through Twitter, we've been putting all the links out everywhere. Um, uh, all the, all the different stars are putting out the links for feeding America. They're all going to the same place. And for every $10,000 more that gets donated, right. somebody who busts. We'll give them another ticket and we'll let them re get back in there and play for nothing for longer. Oh, um, fuck. It, can't, it's, it's, can't go wrong there. More money for charity. It's, and, and that's it. It's my, my guess. It's if I had to, if I had to put a line on it, I'm going to guess that we're going to raise uh, maybe two and a half, two and a half to 3 million. Um, oh, uh, fuck yeah. I'm all in for that. And, oh. and you know, it's, 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 there's definitely a lot going on, obviously for the, for the coronavirus and everything. And everybody's it's, and, and, but there's, there's having the coronavirus and not having anything to eat, that takes bad beat to a whole nother level, right? So Absolutely. Uh, I just don't think you can go wrong with uh, feeding America. Um, I, I'm not gonna spend, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time, you know, plugging America's card room. You don't it, have it's, to. It's, I, I would much rather you guys, you know, it's, it's watch the stream, donate, uh, listen, to the, listen to the people that, that, that are playing, right? And um, while we're, we're while we've done been doing some good things, uh, it's it's the the most most more importantly, stay home, be safe, and uh, and and think about think about everybody else, right? Because that's what's that's what's really wrong with this this whole virus is uh, uh, people who are young and healthy and not afraid of it. Uh, you know what? You're you're right. You're going to get sick and it's going to suck a little bit, but all the people that you're in contact with are going to be at risk. Yeah. So for the first time, it's, you're not thinking about yourself is, is think about everybody else around you. Right. Yeah. Um, I had, uh, it's, it's my mom's in the States and, uh, and my sister's daughter works at price club and I'm, I'm, I'm terrified every day, right. That, that, sure. you know, uh, uh, my mom's going to be exposed because I'm 47 and she's got to be at least 50. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah i mean so me and you i'm a little i'm about almost the same age as you a little bit older i'm not much i act a lot younger so we're, it's all it all equals out sure. um and um i my dad's 89 and he has all those underlying conditions he was in the hospital for like four months uh back a year ago from uh, december through april so uh it's been a year now since he's been out of the hospital um and uh, he had uh, some heart problems. He had pneumonia. He had, I mean, they didn't think he was going to make it. So he's, you know, it's uh, even though I, I, I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm, I don't have it. You know, I was down at uh, Bay 101 right when it started to get bad about a month ago. Uh, and so I saw my dad right before I left. And uh, my brother said I'd come over and see him because he, he said I'd be symptomatic by now. But who knows? I mean, 
I, I don't think I'm asymptomatic. I, every time I get, I'm a, if I get it, I think I had it actually, to be honest. I think I had it seven years ago. I had that. We had this thing. We, we called it the Chula Vista virus. We were playing. I was playing in a card room down in Chula Vista, uh, San Diego area. And me and my girl, we caught this virus. We had like 103, 104 fever. Our whole body was chills. It was numb. We're like, we had like cold flashes. And then, so now when this virus came, we're like, I think this virus has been around for a lot longer. And nobody knows about it. Cause we had to have had it back then. But, uh, well, yeah. it's, it's, it's the, the, I feel, I feel very fortunate um, because I did get it. I did get in front of it a lot quickly uh, because mm -hmm. we have, we have partners, uh, businesses that I work with um, in Spain, uh, business mm -hmm. that I work with in Italy um, mm -hmm. and then even, even out in Asia and in, in talking to them, it, it's to, you know, we underline the, the seriousness and, like uh, it's, it's we talk about, and, and maybe we even complain that uh, I can only get takeout, right? Yeah. Um, I was talking to a, a good friend of mine in Spain, and uh, they're they're using an ice skating rink to store bodies because Spain's they, bad because they can't burn them fast enough, right? Yeah. Um, it, it's it's for for the for the people out there that are still saying it's 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 like the flu. I I'm 47 years old, and I don't know anybody who's died of the flu. Right? Yeah. It's, it's well uh, the, the, right now and that, this is you know again this is a, an argument that'll be um debated in the future you know uh the model said originally if we did nothing there'd be two to three million people die if we did something we'd have 100 to 250 thousand people die and now the models are saying like between 45 and 65 thousand people to die and um if it ends up being that it's going to be really sad that we shut down the entire economy over a, a virus that killed like 67,000 people this year are projected to die from the flu. So um, I know it's three times worse than the flu. Uh, I made a big mistake for many a weeks uh, under uh, minding this virus, like not taking it serious. Uh, I thought it was, I, I believed it was all bullshit. Um, and, and I admit when I'm wrong, you know what I'm trying to say? It's like, I, uh, you know, you, some, you know, sometimes you believe something and, and you believe when you're wrong, but you know, uh, if it comes back now that these numbers end up coming way down, it's going to end up looking like maybe, maybe, uh, I was right in the first place. Um, I don't want to be right. I just want to be caring about, uh, the people of the world. Um, people like me and you, we're, we're fortunate. All the people who are playing in this tournament, you know, we're fortunate. We, we don't have to worry about feeding our families, uh, working nine to five, getting the food on the table. You know, all those people that work in the service industry and stuff that, uh, you know, and, that, and, 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 and a me. shout out to the people, to the people out there that, that, that are on the front lines, right. You know, yeah, absolutely. It, it's, uh, it, it's, uh, yeah. even goes even goes to like my, my my sister's daughter you know working working at working at price club uh it's it's you know what i wouldn't want to be working a price club right now no right? I, it's it's and 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 they're just they're just as front lines as as, as anybody else you know so it, it, it's so weird it's like there's so much i don't know how to put it i i don't want to talk any political discussion but it's like you're you can't go here but you you could go shopping and be on top of each other. And now I heard some places are putting up plastic, you know, from the teller, yep. whatever. Yep. I haven't been shopping yet, but um, I don't know, man. I, I just hope I'm wrong. You know, it just seems like there's so there's there's a lot we're not being told about this. Do you ever get that? I, I will. I will. I will say. I will say this much. I, I will say this much. I believe there's a lot not that we're not being told about this because because it's that scary. Mm -hmm. um, but they don't want to scare they, everybody because they don't want to scare everybody. Right. But the, the reality, the reality of it is, is when was the last time you saw all of these countries close borders? Right. Right. When was the last time you saw the, the entire world, right. Send everybody home. Right. That's what it's exactly that what I said. Fucking bad. That's oh, exactly what I, and that's, and again, that's when I, when I kind of flipped, a lot of people will say, oh, you flip when the president flipped. That's not true. I flipped two days before the actually. I flipped when a guy named Scott Adams, who I follow, and I think he's one of the greatest followers on Twitter, uh, 
said, uh, if you are spreading gossip that this is just the flu, please stop following me. And he's a guy I really, really respect. And, and so then when I, I, I started thinking about that and then I, um, I just started thinking, uh, then the NBA shut down and then California. Yeah. When, was last time, when was last time you saw sports shut down? Yeah. Ever? Yeah. And, and, and when I saw that, I said, that's when I really flipped, you know, I'm like, uh, you know, I, they were talking about this for months, like how bad it was going to be. It could be, it could be, it could be, it could be. And I'm thinking, yeah, but there's one case here, or one case there. And I'm like, and, and, and I mean, let's just look back a month ago. So today is, uh, um, what's it? April 11th or April 10th. Okay. April 10th. Okay. So exactly a month ago, I flew into San Jose, uh, March uh, 9th. The tournament started March 11th. Um, on March 10th, so exactly a month ago, I went over to Helmut's house. Uh, we talked. Uh, he's like, there's no way I'm going to play the tournament. I go, why? He's like, oh, I'm not risking it. I'm like, dude, there's 972 cases in the United States, and there's 46 of the cases here in the San Jose area out of like 8 million people. I said, are you crazy? Are you stupid? I'm like, you're an idiot, right? And so I honestly felt and, and I listen, I admit when I'm wrong and, and it's fine. You know, people are allowed to be wrong. Like so many people like to tweet sure. me. Oh, remember this tweet you put out? I'm like, oh, excuse me. They act like like nobody's ever been wrong before. You know what I mean? And so uh, I felt that it was uh, I felt the virus was real, but I thought it was being I still believe it's being politicized a lot, you know, but I thought it was really, really being politicized and something it wasn't. And um and I, and I changed course on that when the whole world shut down, you know what I'm saying? But let me ask you something like, again, now with all the numbers coming back, I'm starting to think did did, uh, did everybody jump the gun because of what happened in Italy? You see what I'm saying? Uh, and, uh, but I don't know. I know, I know, I know Spain's really bad too, but we, we knew, we knew the European places were going to be bad because they have open borders. Uh, and, uh, they didn't cut off flights early. So, uh, I'm really uh, surprised that their numbers aren't really. I'm well. I, I don't even think they've even gotten close well, to their peak. Uh, uh, it's, it's. It's. I mean, I. I. I took it. I took it really seriously, and and, and I maybe I had some like call it call it insider information. Um, yeah. Is is in in China? It's. I know uh, yeah, gaming I operators. I know yeah. gaming operators, and um and when the gaming operators told me that the, that they were up three hundred percent, right. Um, it's, you can get all the fake news out of communist China that you want. Right. Um, gaming does, it's, it's, it's online poker does not go up 300% when people have time to live their regular lives. Right. It, it just doesn't happen. Yeah. So it, it's, it's, that was the day I had, there was, there was an argument at the office. Um, if you look in the America's card room, uh, uh, client, I have a banner with a link to the coronavirus and uh, the John Ho John Hopkins University, mm -hmm. and when I put that when I put that in there, there was uh, it was around a hundred cases in the U.S. Right, right. And and I took I took some flack. They said, "Why are you scaring everybody? Why are you doing this and that and everything?" And um, and it, it's it's there's just no other reason for poker in Asia to go up by three hundred percent unless there was something serious happening. Right? Yeah, well, we knew that they locked everyone down. That we knew. So that's going to make that go up. But, uh, they, but, they, but they wouldn't do that. But they wouldn't. Be, the, the money's too important to 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 lock everybody down. Well, right? yeah. You lose yeah. Too much, right? And that's what. And, 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 and they, like I said, the only political person I even follow is Tucker Carlson on Fox. And he was he'd been saying for months, he's like, you know, you got to take this serious. People aren't taking it. Neither side is taking this serious. He's like, he says, communist China locked down like 11 million people. Right. And then they ended up locking down like hundreds of millions of people. And then you yeah. were seeing videos of them welding people into their apartments and, you know, and, well, and I also have, people also out of have, their apartments. Well, well, we also have offices in Korea and Korea mm -hmm. took it very, very seriously. Yeah. And, and, and sent everybody home very fast. And, and you know what? They got it under control really, yeah. really fast. Right? Yeah. Um, it's the fact is, is we, it's the U.S. closed closed the borders to everybody else, mm -hmm. but every state is it's like as big as a country. Correct. Right? We, we might as well we might as well be like the EU and 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 have open borders. 
right? Yeah. Because you can still fly from Vegas to New York. You can, it's, it's, it's. Yeah, it's I don't understand. Country. This is my, one of my biggest problems with the administration is I, and I, and I have a friend who's a flight attendant, her name's Ashley. I've known her for like 20 years. She's on, she's fl a flight attendant on American Airlines. And I, and we were talking, like, I don't understand why every, why domestic air travel is still up and going when there's like barely anybody, like there's like nobody on the flights anyways. Like there's, they do have a couple full flights, but the rest of them have like five people on them. Like, but who's even, who would fly right now? Like, I mean, my girl won't even let anybody deliver food to the house. How the fuck am I going to go flying? You know? Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 I, I don't know. It's, it's, you know, I, I, I am all about, I'm all about everybody having their freedoms. Right. right. You know what? It's, it's, I, it's, it's, I am, I am 100%, you know, you, you have the right to bear arms. You have the right to arm bears. You, you have the right to, you know, yell and scream and bitch. Whatever, and yeah. Um, but I also, if I, if I see you walking across the street and getting, getting hit by a car, mm -hmm. I have a right to pull you out of the way and not let you die. Right. right. And, and, and this is what they're asking people to do is they're asking you to stay home because people are dying. Right. And there's something inside so many people that that defiancy that 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 you tell me I have to stay home. So I'm not going to. Yeah, I think I really think now, uh, I, I, you know, like I, you know, I listen sometimes even the press briefs. I don't listen. I maybe listen to one a week now instead of every day. But um, I, I really think that it, it was a situation where you, you couldn't. Uh, as a leader of the country, you couldn't panic people. Um, no. the, if, you, if you tell everybody lockdown two months, there's going to be looting. There's going to be widespread panic. There's going to be people attacking each other in stores. There's going to be crazy. Brother, so he, I, he, so I, think, I, I think with that in mind, by closing the country two weeks to stop the spread, he knew it was always going to be. Uh, I, I said there's no way it won't be more, less than six weeks, right? Maybe even two months. And so then they went from two weeks to a month. So those first, first two weeks, they had people inside scared, you know? Um, and now they said another 30 days. And as long as uh, they get the money out to people, now they say the money's going to be there by Monday. I think the money should have been there a week ago. I'm not happy about that, but like the crime's been going up a lot. Like crime in New York city is yeah. up 400%. I, uh, I, have, I have I have news I have news for you. Um, yeah. it, it's it's down in it's it's I have family down in Panama. My my wife is Panamanian, right? Yeah. And and they're they're military lockdown. Like you know, there's people without. Right. It, it's the last the last digits of your uh, uh, ID number. You get to go out for two hours a day, right? right. To go to the go to the grocery store, and 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 you're at home. Uh, their their government has said. Uh, that 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 no that nobody can that the they can't shut off the water they can't shut off the internet they can't shut off the electricity doesn't matter yeah. if you pay it or not and 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 every single last bank you don't have to make a house payment for the next four months well that's what they've done here for ninety days um, right but the but the thing is is uh you know here's here's another thing is you you're, you're dealing with a country a free country that has uh you know constitutional rights and stuff. And so I think it's a very slippery slope uh, when you're telling everybody uh, lockdown or that or mandatory everybody inside. Um, okay. I so think well, they, let me they, let me take this let me let me take this to a, to a, to a different to a, to a different uh, uh, a different direction, right? Okay. Um, it, it's it's yes, it's it's it, it's it's your right to go out and do whatever you want, right? Mm -hmm. um, it, it's it's my mom is in a risk category where if you go right. out and do whatever you want, you're, you can kill her. No, right? I agree. I'm, I'm on your side of this argument. You and, know? And, and I'm saying, I'm saying is, 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 is be, be, be a good human being. Right. And, and stay home for a little yeah. while. Don't, don't be, you know what, be defiant and be, and be, be a troll as much as you want to be when it doesn't mean people's lives. No, right? I, I'm with you it's, on this. Man. And, and, and so anyway, we, we said we weren't going to talk about the corona. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah let's, uh, let's, let's, you know let's, let's, you're right. You know, it's hard not, you know, it's funny. It's hard not to. You try not to. So let's, uh, let's just pivot. Let's talk here, about, let's, let's, let's talk about. Here's, our, here's, our here's, 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 a, here's, a, here's a funny, here's a funny thing. So it, it's, it's, I deal with a lot of streamers and a lot of online poker players, right? right. Uh, and I talk to them and I am so envious because 
so many of these online poker players and streamers uh, are so isolated anyway. They're like, oh yeah, I remember, I, there was one time I didn't leave the house for six months. Meanwhile, <laughs> I'm, I'm going stir crazy and I can't yeah. get out. I'm, I'm losing my mind and they're just like happier than the pig and shit. <laughs> well, I'm like, I could totally relate with that because like since my injury of uh, October of 2014, uh, like I've literally left the house, like literally a total of, and this is high, probably nine months and six weeks of it is for five straight uh, so six weeks for the last five years at the world series. So how much is that? That's 30 weeks. So that's, uh, what's that? Uh, six, like six that's and a half like, months. That's and like so maybe, maybe I've left that's for two and a half months beside that in five years. So I know that's crazy, but because of my, I, I, I really dealt with a lot of pain out and, uh, lucky like, well, so you've known me now for about a week. We've been playing some online, some fun games, uh, uh some private games and stuff. And we're going to, we're going to chime in on that in a minute. Um, and so uh, I've, uh, but even me who is, is, is used to being at home is going stir crazy. So, yeah. I mean, I usually go out, you know, not being able to, even when I was always home, I'd go out to, to dinner with my girl. Uh, we'd go out to dinner three, four times a week and, you know, not, not, you know, eating the same things out of the refrigerator every day, the same TV dinners and shit yeah. like that's driving me kind of crazy. Uh, so. Let me let me throw some, let me throw some ideas out there for out there for people. Um, it's it's there, there's a few different things that I'm trying to do with because again, uh, it, it's I I know if I'm not handling it real well. Drink? Go ahead. Uh, it, it's it's I got a coke. It's, it's, yeah, I got one too, but it's empty. <laughs> um, Bring me a diet coke, honey. It's it's one of the things that that I'm doing for the people that that, that work for work for me and my company, and and I'm saying is 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 whether it's friends, family members, companies, whatever. Um, it's, it's, we've, we've hired a, a workout instructor, right. That, that they do a training cause we're all getting fatter, right. It's, I am so much fatter. It's just, it, it's, it's sad. Um, yeah. it, it's, it's, so I've hired a workout instructor that, you know, it's, you can dial in and up to a hundred people can work out together. And there's like some social activity there. The other yeah, thing we're good. doing is we're, we're hiring a chef. Because a lot of us are stuck at home having to eat TV dinners because we don't cook for the shit. Yeah. So there's going to be a hundred of us in our kitchen, all cooking the same thing, and it feels like a social kind of oh, that's thing. That's good. Um, the the other thing is, and you know, it's I, I'm I'm going to plug the site just a little bit. We're we're like 14 days away from doing uh, 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 online slot tournaments, and I'm going to make them like two dollars or five dollars. They last three hours, and I'm going to put them on Friday nights and Saturday nights. And then we're going to do additional prizes. If you get dressed up and you and your wife are having a glass of wine, playing the $2 slot tournament and the Vegas night, we'll have extra prizes. So added to it. So it's not about, it's not about the money. It's kind of giving, giving, giving everybody something to do and fill your time. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, while you're, while, while you're stuck at home. Right. Um, it's, it's, it's freaking hard. It, it takes you about a week to go through Netflix right yeah i've already gone through all that and uh it's, it's uh, thank you thank you netflix for another season of ozarks right yeah you know, i have to start watching that i heard it's really good that's the only thing i haven't done yet when this whole when this all started i hadn't seen ozarks and i'm just i'm getting into season three now it's great right it's, it, i really dig it and i'm looking back and, and um I'm, it's it's i wish and and you know what with what with lockdown and everything there's there's not even any new series being made now Right. Yeah. So, well, they're um, they're having to release a lot of new movies that weren't supposed to be released to like June, yeah. July, August. Um, which, so you know, I, I and I and you know the, the the thing that worried me the most when this first started was like the internet's would crash, and I think a lot of people were worried about it because you know you're you know let's just say there's I don't know twenty million people at once on the internet now there's yeah. like two billion people at once. For so sure. I was a little bit worried about that, and luckily it hasn't happened. I, uh, it's so funny. Like, uh, so I learned about zoom about three weeks ago or a month ago and their stocks gone up like a thousand percent. And I was yeah. telling somebody, I go, we need to buy stock in zoom. And now their stocks like ridiculous number. Um, but I I've also heard that they've had a matter of fact today, I heard this whole segment that now I don't, this could also be, you know, lies and shit to try and destroy them because their, their companies uh, gotten so big so fast, but they're like saying, uh, their uh, the software is not secure and people are breaking into meetings and 
I don't know if you heard that earlier, but uh, it's, you know what I, I will say. I will say it's it's anytime you, anytime you take any business, uh, it's even a restaurant, right? No. Um, it's it's you take a restaurant that goes from you know serving a hundred people a day and to ser- serving three thousand people a day, right? Shit's gonna happen. Well, software is the same kind of thing, right? Uh, right. So you're you're prepared you're prepared for so much, and 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 nobody you you couldn't really see this coming. You couldn't really get prepared for this. Um, yeah. it's, it's not in the time frame that you, that, that you had. Well, that was um, another thing they said, like, like zoom usually has 10 million people and now they're up to 200 million and, right. and, and there weren't, they weren't, they weren't prepared for it where no. you were telling me earlier that you've gone up 300%, but you were prepared for it. And well, that it's, 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 it's uh, I'm going to say we're keeping our head above water, right? It right. is, is I had, I had like a, a two week lead time that I had, I had this moment of clarity where I said, okay, this is happening here and I got to prepare for it to be happening here. And, and to tell you, it's, it's to tell you the truth. I was really, I was really, really worried about the, the people that work for me um, because you've got 200, 200 people in a building. All you need is one person to get it and everybody gets it. And um, yeah, I just, it's my, my conscience would, would, it would eat me alive if I, if I said, no, you know what? It's not a big deal. And, and, and somebody that worked for me died because I made a bad decision like that. Like, yeah, it, it's, no, it's no abs- absolutely. And like it's one last, one other point I wanted to make real quick. I, I touched on it just quickly is the online poker, it's online poker players and, and streamers, right. That are, you know, like, like yourself right now. It's, 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 this doesn't bother you so much because you haven't been out. And uh, there's a lot of people that, um, it, that are having a lot of problems with it that de- depression is going to set in that, um, uh, that, that they don't know that they don't know how these online communities work right because there yeah. is a, a there's a learning curve there yeah. and 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 for those of us who are part of these online communities please 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 reach out to your friends and family members and and talk to them and teach them about these online communities yeah. whether it's twitch whether it's forums, whether it's, you know, whatever kind of groups it is, because these, these people, they, they don't know how that kind of social interaction works. And if this is going to last another two months, they're going to be hurting for a really, really bad. Do them if a this big lasts favor. another two months, there's going to be nothing left of our country. So it's, uh, it's, it's, you know what, Mike, I, I hate to say it, but Asia's Asia's two months ahead of where we're at. Yeah. Right? And they're still not back at home. Yeah. It's well, it, it's I mean that day. China, I mean, I saw something from Wuhan today where there's all people are driving, the streets are pretty full. Uh, but that that was a three month thing. Uh so if you if you talk three months, you're talking March first or March tenth is where it really started. March, April. Yeah, you're talking uh, two more months. Yeah, you're yeah. right. And, 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 and Mike, and, and you were talking about, they were welding their doors shut. Yeah. We, the U S didn't do that. Yeah. Right? And, and a lot so, of people, you know, they don't, that, that want to say, well, why does the U S have more cases or whatever? Um, we're, first of all, we're good. We're, we're like the third biggest country. Okay. The other, we're not going to sit there and, and, and weld people in their house and let them die. Okay. Cause we're not a communist country. So uh, when people try and compare, like, again, I don't want to get and, into this, but when they and the, fact, and the fact is, is, is there was a, it's, it's you look at spring break, people made bad decisions. Right? Oh, absolutely. And, absolutely. and we're going to have to, and we're going to have to deal with it now. Right? Yeah. So absolutely. It, they were uh, Florida, Florida knew that their spring break season was coming. They, it, there was very little cases in Florida at the time. The weather was hot and, you know, they always talk about the hot weather, humidity hurts the virus. And they just thought, which I don't blame them. I thought it was, I, I mean, they, uh, I, I could see where they were going with it, but then they realized uh, this was not a good idea. And they, uh, their spring break that was supposed to last a week lasted two days. Um, uh, but if you saw with virus those, talk if you butthole. saw the, the, what's that there, uh, Danny boy? Enough virus talk butthole. Oh, enough virus talk butthole? Okay, yeah, let's not okay. talk about more anymore. So, well, we were speaking of hot, so speaking of hot, yeah. butthole. Yeah. Speaking of hot buttholes, uh, J- <laughs> Jason had a hot butthole yesterday. Hope he got it fixed. I will uh, say this. I will say this. Can, can, can I talk? Can I talk about the the the, the, the Phil Helmuth beat? Right? Can yeah, I talk let's talk about, about let's talk about our game. Let's talk about how much fun we're having. This um, was this was and, one of uh, the most satisfying, unsatisfying moments of my life. 
okay, of my yeah. life. So, right? so you, I was not in the game. Uh, for everybody out there, I was uh, on a 24-hour restriction uh, for, well, I went Slap on the wrist for being a bad boy. Yeah, I, I, was, I went a little bit crazy, uh, which is, uh, you know, me, everybody. I, that's what I do. Uh, and uh, speaking of uh, you know, the reason why I was going a little crazy is uh, uh, I was getting really dep- – I got really dep- – was in some really de- – got de- into deep depression. I had to get back on my Lexapro the last few days. Uh, now it's got me level again, and I'm going to take it for a couple of weeks. Uh, and I think that has a lot to do with being in this homebound and not getting out because I hadn't had any depression in, oh, my God, oh, oh, close to a year. So uh, that kind of let me fly off the handle. And, uh, yeah, I deserve my restrictions, so we don't want to talk about that. Yeah. So uh, let's, uh, let's talk about the game. So we have, uh, for everybody out there uh, right now, we, we got a little private game going. Uh, uh, me, Phil Helmuth, uh, Brandon Cantu are the probably three pros and uh danielle de moon girl anderson uh and then uh we've had uh, uh a big mix of uh business people like phil uh, um and a bunch of other uh people that you know phil uh i'll let phil do his name dropping you know how you know, yeah. Phil likes yeah, it's, you. it's, it's yeah, helmet, but... helmet, helmet puts together, puts together a good game. And it's, 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 we get on zoom and, and, and we wrap with each other and it's, it's, and we it's needle fun. each other and we needle the crap out of each other. It's, oh, it's, it's great. It's, I mean, we take it and put, I mean, everybody oh, takes sure. it, everybody dishes it out. It's and the, it's, fir- uh, the first day, the first day I was a little bit quiet, right? No, cause I sure didn't really were. know everybody. Now right? you don't shut up. Now, yeah, it's, it's can't, can't get me to shut up. So it's, I'm in, I'm in hand with, with helmet. I got ace queen, ace queen suited. Um, it's, it's, and basically it was, it was, it's Cantu, Cantu Ray, or Helmuth raised Cantu three bet to 500. Uh, it's, it's, I flatted and then, and then Helmuth made it 5,000. No, that's, I'm not saying that right. It was, yeah, no, Helmuth made it five Helmuth made it five thousand. Cantu called and I have I have eleven thousand behind. And uh it's, it's this is a five ten game, everybody. It's not a five, five ten game. Five and ten dollar game, in case you all yeah. want to know. Yeah. Go ahead. So so I'm sitting a thousand, eleven thousand big blinds deep. And it's it's when when Helmuth makes it fifty five hundred, I said, Well, he's got aces or kings or aces. Or kings. or kings, but and you I think said since, fuck it because you want to. I think I figured since I have an ace, it's less likely that he has aces. And but you had ace queen suited, right? I had ace queen suited. Right. I won't lie. I won't lie. I, I I shipped over the top because I knew Phil and Phil could ship over ship the top of me, and now Cantu can fold, can fold right. And now I'm heads up against what I'm hoping is kings with five thousand dead, and I've only got eleven thousand. I'm right. not just you already had five thousand in. You're three to one dog. It's six thousand more to call. I understand totally. Go right. ahead. Right. It's it's I, and and there was some there was some there was some hope that that beating Helmuth and and watching and, and having him flip out has got some non-zero value. And, got a lot of value. What are you talking about? And that about? non-zero value is a lot of value. Right. Fuck yeah. So it's it's we get it in, and then I look over and can't and and, and Helmuth that tanks and, and calls right. And then, and then, you know, it's Cantu snap calls and I look over, he's got aces. And then, then sadly enough, I look over at Cantu, he's got ace queen as well. And I'm like, oh man. Right. And sure enough, we, we, we make the straight. It's, it's, I think well, it you came gotta down, tell it, everybody. It, well, okay. It came, down, came. it came down like, came down like King deuce five or something. Uh, he can't even tell turn, his own story. He was in the hand, came down, Jack deuce five, 10 on the turn there you go. on the river. Right. It right? came turn, turn river, dirty, dirty. Right. And uh, it's it's and when you sit out of this app, it's got a little, a little timer, right? Uh, that you're sitting out for three minutes before you add chips. I took the opportunity to go directly into the chat and say, "Hey, Phil, it's that button on the top right where you add more money." <laughs> he didn't really respond. And then I, I ninety thousand dollar pot. So right, you got to right. remember. So everybody out there listening, so fill out eleven thousand. Uh, uh, Phil Nagy, the one we're ta- uh, talking with now. Yeah. Uh, Helmuth had thirty nine thousand, and Cantu had like thirty nine thousand. So the side pot was like fifty six thousand, and um, and Cantu wins the side pot to bust Phil. 
Phil loses 90K in the session on a, in a five and ten dollar game. Uh, right. Phil Hamia, uh, Cantu at one point was up 130,000 in the game and he never quit and he went broke because that's what Cantu yeah. does. Yeah, um, and, and, and what, what it's the, the, the only other thing that is I, I continued to I started to complain about how bad I run right right after you know it, it's I, I would just chop the pot with Cantu. Uh, is is I run so bad because I wasn't on Zoom with Phil, so I didn't wasn't able to see his expressions. Yeah, and um, that had to be fairly tilty that I complained how bad I run just because I didn't get to see the. Expressions. Yeah, so, not having Phil on Zoom that was like one of the rare times he wasn't on there. Yeah, I mean all crazy. the other times we get him on there, he goes crazy. It's, it's pretty sick. Beat. It's and a then lot I of proceeded, fun. and then I proceeded to tweet that. Uh, after after um after phil posted the hand and and you know how that it's the worst beat he's ever taken i i replied back i said yeah wow that is a pretty bad beat you probably have a better chance of you had a better chance of winning a bracelet this year than losing that pot yeah <laughs> so and it was funny so like so um uh uh phil nagy over here he was 5.4 percent in the pot Cantu was 1.4 percent in the pot so He's tweeted that out at him, and then uh, Cantu tweeted out at him. You know, um, you the chances of dying from coronavirus is is point one what is one point six percent, and he goes, "I was only one point four percent to win that pot, Phil. So you better be careful and stay quarantined." <laughs> <laughs> but it, but it's it, it's funny. Was like I talking to him yesterday. So I guess that day that he lost the ninety k or whatever, it was a super moon outside. I didn't even know that. I guess his wife told him that. So um. You know, I'm into astrology and all that shit and numbers. So I was thinking, I don't know what the what the thing is about a super moon. I said, but Phil, you better not play poker on a super moon again. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that was our conversation with that. But um, as I watch you guys go crazy and stuff in 10s and 20 balls, uh, I sit there with my 2,000 on the table. And I win or lose like 2,000 a day um, having fun with you guys. And, and you know, listen, it's uh, – I'm kind of glad that the game uh, lot yesterday kind of got a little bit smaller because, you know, yeah. I just, I, I, I really enjoy uh, shooting the shit and having fun with you and sure. Scott ball and Helmut I, and everybody. You know, and, I, it's, it's, and, I, and I'm to, like, like I said, I'm totally, I'm totally happy to sit there, you know, like, like with, with a thousand or 2000 at yeah. five ten and, and kind of just shoot. I, I'm killing time and, 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 and having fun ta talking with you guys. Yeah. Um, it's, it's the only reason I continue to buy in bigger is because everybody else continues to buy in bigger. Yeah. And, you know, and the thing is, is I, I could buy in bigger, but I'm, I'm like, it's like, uh, Everything I've been through, it's like a, a lot. You don't really know much about what I've been through and stuff, but, but like it's like I'm just scared to like to lose. Like I'm, I'm not scared to win. I'm scared to lose big. You know, I don't want to because I know we're locked up in this thing. I, like you said, I believe it's going to be at least another month, maybe more. And uh, I can't afford to like, I, 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 my online habits have cost me. Like I, I've had two losing months of my life playing live poker, and I've lost like probably four point two million playing online. And it's, I, I struggle making the adjustment to online poker from live. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, it is fun that we all play and we play in zoom and we can look at each other and have a little bit I've of fun. I've had two winning days, right? That's I, a, it's, I, I'm still stuck, but I've had two winning days, which, you know, I, I, I don't get to, I, I don't get to play online poker anymore. So it's, it's, it's yeah, familiar. well, you're, you work hard, it's man. You're a businessman. I, uh, I'll tell you what it's, 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 we, we've been, we've been working pretty hard. So yeah. it's, it's, I guess back, back to this, let me just get, finish up with this charity tournament and then, yeah. and then we can talk about anything that maybe we could take some calls or anything. Yeah. We're going to take some about. calls. Absolutely. Uh, it's, it's uh, make sure you know, it's all over Twitch. Maybe Mike it's, it's, um, it's, it's, yeah, I just tweeted out about it. So don't donate a, donate a few bucks, whatever, whatever you can spare over to feeding, feeding America. Um, it's, 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 it's a good cause watch it's we're going to have great commentary on the america's card room twitch channel um it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun and you'll you'll see we've made avatars for you know most of the the, the big names that that, that that are there um it's so you'll know exactly who they are even though their screen name are whatever yeah i'll be the trump avatar so you guys could all rip on me i know you guys love to do that anyways uh, that's, so. that's that's awesome that's awesome uh but i don't mind you know I, I i it's all part of the fun and and listen the thing that's important is that we raise money to help feed people uh 
everybody who knows me, everybody who listens to the show knows that I'm all about caring about people, uh, doing the right thing, uh, trying to to make the world a better place. That's uh, I feel I feel like I've been put on this earth for that reason, and I'm going to continue to try and do that. Um, as far as uh, let's uh, uh, talk a little bit about uh, your card room and uh, the changes you've made. Uh, as sure. you know, that there was a lot of things going around. A lot of people didn't want to play on there, talking about all the bots that were on there. Uh, yeah. You sent me a, a link of what you guys have done. Why don't you tell all the viewers what you guys have done to eliminate that problem? So it, it's, 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 bots are a constant problem through, you know, the, the, the entire industry, right? Um, it's, it's over, over history, uh, it's, it's cheating as what is, is what has killed poker uh, three or four times throughout history from, right. you know, the, the old West days where the guy had the, the one card up his sleeve right. to, you know, even, even rounders, you know, dealing from the bottom of the deck and everything. To and Russell Hamilton. To, right. Right. It's, uh, it's, it's always been, it's Mike always Postle been the, 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 the cheating is, is, is the part. And um, it's, it's, it's hard to, you know what? It, it's really hard to police. So, I, 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 I had some, some introspect here. So it's Joe Ingram, which uh, it's, I've since talked to and, and went on his podcast, came out with a, with, with a podcast about, you know, bots on America's card room and everything. Mm -hmm. And I probably didn't handle that situation real, real well. Uh, it's, it's when I say probably, I mean, absolutely. Uh, it's in that, in that, <laughs> in that, in that I took it too personally that it, it, I, I felt very, very attacked. Right. Yeah. Um, it's it's and I'm somebody who's motivated through positivity, not motivated through negativity. Yeah, me too. And, 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 I, and I used out, to be the other way, so I understand totally. It, it came out came out very negative, and 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 I got very very defensive, and mm -hmm. I didn't really want to respond because I didn't want to I didn't even want to dignify him with a response. Right. So it it took it took me and and you know what I, I've openly admitted that uh, it took me a little while to get over that. Yeah. Uh, after that, I, I dug in there and there were some bots, right? It's, yeah. there, there were quite a few. Uh, it's, it's since then, uh, we're the only company, the only game, the only poker company in the world that released the screen names of the bots mm -hmm. and uh, refunded and show, we show exactly what screen name and how much we've refunded. So if you had played with a bot, this, this screen name ABC was a bot. Mm -hmm. And these are the people he played with, and this is how much we refunded each person, right? Gotcha. Um, so we kind of keep it as as transparent as we possibly can. And then I kind of looked at um, I look at bots as kind of like the war on drugs, right? Yeah. Um, where it's it's catching the guy that's 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 smoking weed or catching the catching the guy that's that's smoking crack really doesn't solve the problem. No, it's right? catching so, the guy that runs the bot farm. It's, 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 it's caught, catching the guy that's running the catch, catching the guy that's building the bot. Right. right. So, you know, so it's funny that you talk about that. So I, I like to bring this up a lot and, sure. and it's, uh, uh, I'll never forget it. Um, it was in 2010, uh, full tilt sent me, uh, to Brazil. They were just, that was the, 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 the up and coming market. We did a big tournament. Uh, me and Gus Hansen were the two pros, uh, I brought my friend Tr uh, Tristan with me, um, and uh, we had a good time. And uh, uh, the tournament was really good and everything. But, but before the tournament, we drove. We were in San Paulo, but we took an hour and a half drive to the ocean front, and we went to this big, huge mansion, uh, ocean front. There were the people that were putting on the the tournament in Brazil, and the guy showing me around this place and on the waterfront it was gorgeous, right? And upstairs, they have this fucking room that's, fuck, I don't even know, maybe as big as the whole Bellagio poker room. And there was like rows of fucking computers, like 300, at least 300 computers in this room. I'm like, what the fuck is this? He's like, oh, we teach people how to play internet poker here. As soon as I heard that, I said, that's, that's just a bunch of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You know, and so then I, I, I got like, whether they're bots or whether they were uh, lots of people getting on on different ip addresses in tournaments and i don't know what it was but i just know it wasn't legit so um you know when we talk when you talk about catching the bots or whatever you know i i, I think about that i always think about that room and i'm thinking right. to myself how many of those rooms 
are out there. You know what I'm trying to say? If you get, if you get competent, whether it's even like, whether they're bots or even competent poker players sitting there and building stacks and dumping stacks, you know, it's all about, you know, getting in on that final table. And I mean, even 300 people times 200 is what? 6,000 bucks. Well, you know what I'm trying to say? So I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not, I, I know for sure there was some kind of cheating there. I don't know exactly what it was, you know, but it's, 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 so I, it's, I understand how hard it is to police. It's, it's, it's very, very, very difficult to police. And especially, especially going after the, the individual, the individual accounts is very, 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 very difficult because um, it's, it's a game of cat and mouse is I catch this guy. And now the other 10 guys know how I caught this guy. So they don't do that anymore. And, 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 it, and it becomes, and that's what every poker site was doing, right? right. So what, what I did what it, it is I started, I, I looked at what does, what does a bot do? What does, what, there's, there's a few things that solvers, that bots, that they, that they all have to have. They all have to have the bet size. They all have to have the pot. They all have to have the cards. They all have to have a few different things, right? right. Um, so that, so that, uh, it's, it's so that they can work. Right. Mm -hmm. So what we proceeded to do is, is we proceeded to, and for those of you who, who screamed at me on Twitter, if you, if you look at, uh, if you look at a, a cash game table or a tournament table on America's card room, you, you'll see that in the, in the, um, in the pot, there's a bunch of little blue dots and it makes it a little bit difficult to see the pot. Mm -hmm. And but it makes it really freaking hard for a bot to read the bet size. Um, it's, it's, we've done a number of those things in the background, um, changing a bunch of different things to break a bot. So it, it's when, when I talk about, when we talk about what a bot is, it's, or human assist or whatever, it's if you throw a monkey wrench in your car engine, something bad is going to happen, right? And it happens to every single last car. So what we're doing every time we do an upload every two weeks, we throw a number of random monkey wrenches in the engine that don't hurt humans, but screw bots. Gotcha. And, and, and now the, the document that I sent you is now the, the proprietary bots obviously are, are, are out there. And then there's commercial bots, right? Mm -hmm. um, they all have to have the same things to be able to work. Uh, right. I can, I'm proud to say that, that America's card room is the only site in the world that you can go download any one of those commercial bots and it will not work on America's card room. And it will work on any number of card rooms out there. Right. To me, that's something to be proud of. I know I'm, I'm going the right direction, right? Uh, yeah. The next step, the next step, for those of you who do play with us, you've seen that we do these live updates. You get this little thing that says, would you like to accept this live update now? Uh, right. that's, the, that, that's the first step in us being able to do updates without downtime. Mm -hmm. The next step is, is we're going to be able to do updates without you having to approve it, mm -hmm. right? So what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to change any number of those things or all of those things that I know will break bots mm -hmm. real time right now. So when I do that, all of the accounts that I see sit out real time, mm -hmm. we can now investigate all of those. Gotcha. And I can do that five times a day. Right. So water seeks the path of least resistance. If, if, if you're getting caught five times, if, you're, if your bots are getting caught, caught five times a day, if your solver is being broke five times a day and you've got to answer security questions or whatever the hell it is, you're just going right. to go somewhere else. It's just yeah. not worth it, right? Yeah. And, um, and, and we're all, it's, it's last but not least, I'm, I am openly posting this in our forums exactly how we're doing it. Because if I find the silver bullet, I will be happy to share it with every other poker site in the world, right? Because yeah. that is just hashtag good for poker, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's, there's, there's a lot of, it's, it's, and just like with this charity tournament, I've never seen poker sites work together like this mm -hmm. and, and get past the money part and get past yeah. the, the competition part uh, with, with bots and solvers and cheating. If, if we could, if we put our minds together and, 
we're all using the same amount of resources and not sharing any information. If we were to just share information, we'd have like 10 times the resources to stop all of this. Yeah. And, and, and we could make poker so much better for all of us. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, we'll see what, we'll, we'll see what happens. It's, it's, I'm definitely talking to some of the, some of the other owners and seeing what we can and can't do. Right. Um, and, uh, it's, it's, I'm, I'm hoping that this is the first step into making some progress. Yeah. Well, you know, I, um, you know, uh, I had a friend of mine and wanted me to introduce, wanted to introduce me to you about a year ago. Uh, he told me what a great person you are, a great guy you are. Uh, I've known you about a week now. Uh, I can, I can back that up, uh, just by us having a lot of long discussions, um, having you on the show today that I think you're a stand up guy. Um, I don't usually throw my weight behind somebody if I think they're a bad person. I think you're a good person. I think you're trying to do the best. Uh, with that said, I will, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say that. So, um, it's, and, and you know what? It's, it's, I'll, I'll be, I'll be straight with everybody. I will fuck it up. All right. It, it's, it's, but we're listening to you. It's, 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 I answer, I answer questions on Twitter. I go on Twitch and listen to customers. We've got, we've got a forum that, that, that we listen to what you guys have, what you guys have to say. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to some of the highest stakes, highest stakes players in the world right now. Mm -hmm. um, investigating, investigating different, different players and, and listening to what they have to say. Um, because what, what I'm really trying to do is, is a poker site is nothing without you guys, right? right. A poker site is just, it's, it's, it's nothing without you. So I'm trying to make you, uh, I'm trying to make a poker site that, that, that'll work out for you. Right. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's, if I, and yeah, it, you give us feedback. I'll, like I said, I'll screw it up, point it out and, and, and. I'll admit I screw it up and I'll do it and fix it. I will not screw it on proper on purpose, right? Right. But when you change stuff, you're not always right. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know what? I think that's pretty much what any everybody wants. You know, if they see that that uh, people are that you're listening to other players and that you're going out of your way to make things better, I think that that's all that that they can really ask for. Uh, when I did play on your site before I I, I met you, like about a year ago. And I, there was a bunch of big overlays in, in some tournaments and I got deep in a couple of them and people were like, Oh yeah, yeah. There's big overlays. That's because there's a bunch of cheating going on on there. And I'm just like, ah, you know, people, when they lose, it's always, they're getting cheated. You know what I'm saying? So, sure. uh, and it's always going to be that way. And I, and I, I, I'm sure you did have a, a lot of problem and a bot problem. And like you said, you're, you're working on it now. So um, the, the fact is there's, there's big, there's big, there's big, let's overlays. open up the phone lines. Okay. Let's open up the phone lines. Go ahead. Let's talk. The mouthpiece. If you'd like to take part in our phone call segment, you can give us a call at 702-329-0480. And if you're a snowflake or a pussy and you don't want to talk to me, you can email me at mouthpiecepodcast at gmail.com. Also, follow me at the Mouth Mattiso on Twitter for times that our call in segment will be live. All right. So, uh, phone lines are open. Uh, anybody out there? Give us a call 702 329 0480. You can talk to me and the CEO of America's Car Room, Mr. Phil Nagy. Call in and ask us any questions you'd like. We'll be happy to answer them the best we can. So uh, as we wait for the phone calls to come in. Or we can continue just talking to ourselves. Yeah. I'm, I'm good with that, too. There we go. We got a call coming in. Yo, yo, welcome to the mouthpiece. This is Mike. Hello? Computer, I don't hear him. Computer, computer. Where's our caller? Oh, Danny. Oh, there we they go. hung up. Okay. Welcome to the mouthpiece. It's Mike. Mike, how you doing, mate? You all right? Yeah, what's going on, man? You're on uh, live with uh, me and uh, Mr. Phil Nagy. What's going on? Brilliant, brilliant. Mike, I want to say firstly... I absolutely love your show. It's absolutely awesome. Thank the you best. so much. I appreciate you it. Have, you, you should have won all the awards for the best podcast. 
Yeah, I think so too. But they just, it's become uh, in the poker world a little bit political. So they pick their pick and choose who they want, but it's all good. I'm just trying to make, make people happy and uh, make the world a better place and try and make poker better. So it's kind of, yeah, what I do. no, that's great. That's great. Uh, Mike, I was wondering like over the years, uh, with like, you know, obviously you've been through ups and downs. Do you think a lot of it's in the mind? Oh, it's all in the mind. Come back. Yeah, it's all in the mind. Um, so, um, because of my injury and stuff, uh, I, uh, spent three and a half years blaming everybody for it. And instead of realizing that I'm stuck with it the rest of my life and I have to, you know, fight through it. Once I did that and I, and I bought into home youth and Negranu's positivity and positive mindset, uh, I've kept myself in a real positive frame of mind and it's, it's helped me rebound pretty well. Now, uh, last few days I had to start taking some antidepressants again because being locked up in these house for like six weeks or whatever it's been, I think it's starting to grow on all of us. So I've been, I was a little bit depressed lately, but, um, uh, the last few days is, uh, pretty good. And, uh, I think I'm back, uh, where I need to be. So yeah, it's all, I think it's all in the mind. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you hundred percent. Yeah. So how are you holding up in the quarantine? Yeah, not bad, Mike. Not bad. I mean, I'm, you know, I've, I've, uh, I don't want to do doom and gloom, but obviously, I've got a lot of health issues myself. I've been through, you know, issues in the past health-wise. But um, yeah. listen, I say every day, it's day by day. You wake up every morning, or if you That's whatever, it. every day you get by. You think, thank goodness, you know, we're still going. Yeah, I you tell know, people the this all the time. Thing. You know, and we'll all bounce back. We'll all bounce back, Mike. Yeah. I mean, you got to go outside, get up, you know, realize how beautiful the world is and uh, live it day by day. Try not to live in fear, you know, but also yes. try and be smart. You know, you don't want to go out and infect people. And, you know, the, the, the quicker this is, uh, you know, we, we do get, we get through this. It'll be something that, that changes everybody's lives and, uh, and hopefully it'll change the world for a better, for a better. You know, yeah. I, no, I think I, we're I really going to appreciate, I think, I think we're going to appreciate a lot of things, a lot more. Absolutely. Over, you know? I, I really believe you're right. I, I hope you're right. And if, if we don't appreciate things more and if we don't see what really matters in the world after this, then we're, then the yeah. whole world's in a, we're all fucked anyways. Right. So, of course, uh, of course, I, Mike, you know, and uh, I want to, you know, going back to poker again, it's like over the years I've watched you since, uh, you know, I don't know how long, but all the, all the times you've gone, you've been close I'm telling you, I've, I've been there with you. I felt yeah. it. It's just, I can just, I can't, well, I can't imagine, but I'm like, wow. And, uh, you know, I'm sure, you know, you've got, you've got, to, I'm sure you're going to get to different stages in the future where things are going to turn. You're successful in my eyes anyway with the poker. People may not agree with me, but there's one thing you've got, a lot of them don't. You've got the character. You can't buy that. Yeah. A lot of the you, characters you can't, have gone you can't out buy. Again. I tell people the, all the, the time, you can't. Are gone, Mike. Yeah, you can't buy personality, and you can't buy talent. You know, all, no. all the solvers in the world can't make, can't change that. So uh, I agree with you. Well, I appreciate you calling in, man. Thanks, and thank you for listening to the mouthpiece. Tell all your friends to listen to the show, and I appreciate you calling Thank in, man. Take it easy, buddy. You got it, buddy. Take care. Bye. Bye. All right there, computer. We have any missed calls we have to call back? Okay. Yo, yo. Welcome to the mouthpiece. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, who's this? Hey, it's Brian from uh, Atlanta. Hey, Brian. How's it going down there? You're on the uh, pretty good. Live, on, live on the mouthpiece with me and the uh, CEO of America's Car Room, Mr. Phil Nagy. How's it going? Awesome. How's it going? How's it going, Phil? Good, 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 good. It's it's quarantine. How's it working out for you? Uh, just still working, but luckily it's uh, just playing some poker. There yeah. you go. Just had There's a, a just had a question. Uh, it seems like you've been having a lot of server issues. What's being done to combat that? Uh, so when you say when you say a lot of server issues, um, it, it, it's the last uh, it's it's the last few weeks. Um, it, it's, it's, we've, we've made it through everything. Uh, last week we hit almost 70,000 concurrent connections. 
um, which that's a lot. Uh, and and right. we're, it, it's, it's the, with the, with the growth that's happening. Um, it, it's, it's, we're staying in front of it as fast as possible. Uh, it's, it's, and come next week sometime early next week, uh, we'll be adding some scalability and we'll be able to handle closer to 120,000 concurrent, concurrent connections. Um, it's, it's, it's just load. Like, uh, it's, one of the things like uh, it's there, there's a few different things where maybe we're getting a little lag there's also um internet issues right it's it's there's so many people watching netflix using zoom this and that well we all share the same internet um it's it's so there's there's things happening there as well uh, but it's it's i I, gar I guarantee you that um we're not the only companies that's having problems right um and knock on wood uh, it's, it's, we've had far fewer problems since the growth spurt that's happened than, uh, than, than most other companies have. Right. Um, it, it's, it's, we haven't had, uh, uh yeah, it's, it's, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with everything recently. I, was there anything specific, like, like a specific day or. Well, not, nothing specific. Just, uh, I mean, I've, I've been playing on ACR for, you know, four or five years. It's been a while. Okay. And it just yeah, seems so, like so the last, compared to so the last year, uh, last last May, we moved to our new software platform. And right. uh, when we say when we say server issues, uh, it, it's it's when you when you launch a new, when you when you launch a new platform, um, it's almost like being an athlete, where uh, you you run you run the quarter mile as fast as you possibly can, and then the next time you run it, you push even harder and you see how fast you can do it, right? Uh, well, with software, it's it's you you push the limits of what you can do, and and there's been times that we've found the new limits, right? And it's it's we've had when you say server issues, it's we just hit capacity, right? Uh, it's it's uh, we've got we took a step took a step back. Two days later, um, we raised capacity, and right now we're we're up like three hundred percent, and and haven't gone down a day, right? knock on wood <laughs> um <laughs> it's it's for for those of you for those of you who uh it's for the trolls out there right uh, it's it's we have a fail safe in place that if um if we get too much traffic for one reason or another uh it's it's i have a flip that i a swip, switch that i can flip and not allow any more new logins so we can service the customers that we do have and Everybody else is just going to have to wait. Um, it's it's especially with right now with uh, everybody on quarantine. It's difficult to get servers in your location uh, to get people to, to to get stuff shipped down to you know your your location and your co-location, and then sending people out to actually get you know hands on with the stuff. But we're doing it um, somewhere in the, right now. Right now, uh, give it give it ten days. A little less than ten days, we should be able to have uh, somewhere around one hundred and twenty thousand concurrent connections and not have any problems. And within the next uh, uh, three weeks, we should be sitting around three hundred thousand concurrent connections without any problems. Uh, so it, it, here we go. Yeah. All okay. right. Well, so well, sounds good to me. Uh, me, I'm gonna. I'm just getting ready to start playing on his card room, man. Now that I've gotten to know him and shit, so uh, I'm gonna try my best to help him out and and uh, help his room out and. Yeah, and, uh, if you've been playing for if more you've been calls playing for coming in, while, Mikey. What'd you say there, computer? More calls coming in, Mikey. Okay, you got it. We okay. got some more calls coming in. We got to get going. All right, man. I appreciate right, the call. Thanks for the call. the call. You're very welcome. All right. Uh, that's that's really good. We got the. That's why we have computer in, in control of the um, controls over there to let us know when we got to get on and off the calls. I like it. Yeah, we just started the live stuff. We used to we were doing a lot of um, uh, uh, edited stuff, and he would put a lot of. This is uh, you know, it's working out a little bit. It's pretty the Zoom and stuff's working out good for us uh, with the quarantine. So I like the live. I like the live Hello. stuff. You know, it's just like a yeah, welcome stuff. to the mouthpiece, is Mike. Hi, Mike. It's JJ. What's up, JJ? How you doing? JJ, I'm good. JJ, yeah, look, hi, I, I finally Phil. got together with your boy Phil. You've been trying to hook me up with for a year. Uh, yeah, there you go. See, look, me helping people. It's great. Uh, I just had a question, Phil. When are we going to get Mike down to the cage? Because I, I feel like he would enjoy the hell out of that. 
You know what? And, Let's get him uh, down here next yeah. week. No, I'm just joking. It's, it's when, <laughs> yeah, what is this cage? He's been telling me about this cage thing for a while. What exactly is that? Okay. So it, it's it's the cage is something something that I that, that I personally invented, right? Okay. Uh, it's a five thousand dollar buy in. You get five thousand dollars, five thousand chips, right? Yeah, I uh, could probably square. I could probably find somebody to give me five grand. Okay. It's six max, <laughs> right? Uh, it start the blinds start off at ten and twenty with a five dollar ante, okay. right? Uh, you play that for three hours. After three that, hours, five thousand of chips. Well, shit, the way the way you got way you go through five thousand and five and ten twenty. I mean, that wouldn't even last you a fucking three hours. It's, I'll tell you what. I tell you what. I do. I do pretty well at the caves. Okay. So it's it's three hours uh, of ten twenty. Uh, it's it's yeah. It's of ten twenty, and then it goes up to twenty five fifty for another three hours. Yeah. Then you stop, right? You come back the next day and you play three hours of forty eighty. And then following by, you play uh, three hours of 50, 100. At the end of those final, those total of, uh, uh, what is it? Is, is it? And this is live? This is live. This okay. is live, right? And yeah. at the end uh, at the end of the, the 12 hours that you played, the two days, whatever chips you have in front of you are cash. Oh, fuck. Right? So, so it's, yeah, it's just the, the hybrid. Biggest, the, biggest winner, the biggest winner we've had is, uh, I think, I think $56,000. Right. Um, and Scott Ball, Scott Ball, I think it was fifty six thousand dollars he walked away with. Uh, wow. it, it's Tom Canoli had walked away with fifty two thousand. So it's, it sounds to me like it's a cash game type tournament. It's a it's a it's a cash yeah. game tournament hybrid. Right. Uh, gotcha. But it's short handed six max with an ante. So if you're a nit, just don't even bother. Right. Uh, well, uh, well then that there goes me. I'm yeah. The door. You're, you're definitely forced <laughs> to play some hands. Uh, it's it's. And uh, it's it's the, the whole thing, the, the entire the entire 12 hours of play, um, the average stack stays right around 80 big blinds. Right. right. So it, it, you're never playing super, super shallow. Right. Um, yeah. And, and, and you get some really good pots. And it's, it's the vibe is just so much different than like the standard grindy type yep. of tournament. But you, you probably got a lot of bad players down there, too. Right. Well, here's the thing. It's 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 three quarters of the players. Won their way down there from a fifty dollars online satellite. Oh yeah, get me into that yeah. game, right? Yeah, so, you need to get down so, there. Right there. It's, it's a blast. So it, you definitely see stuff you don't see anywhere else. You know, you know what's good about that is I tell people all the time, like when we first started this whole fiasco back in early two thousands, and then we we had the online and stuff. It was like it was all about satelliting people in to the tournaments, yeah. and it seems like a lot of these card rooms have gone away from it. And all of a sudden they, they, their WPT comes around or whatever comes around. And there's like, they're wondering, like you're playing against all these pros that are re-entering and all that shit. And I'm just like, if you know, you're going to have a tournament in a year in advance, why not run a, a super satellite every Saturday night for a fucking year? The satellite people, I don't understand it, you know? So um, I know losing uh block Friday, you know, we had the internet sites all, all involved with with satelliting people into a lot of them that kind of hurt and mm -hmm. hopefully that'll come back in the future but you know we'll see but so uh, yeah, it, it's, yeah we, it's the we, cage. Need, we need to get you down there mike because it's, it's it's a lot of fun Phil took on a great party yeah. and, uh, and and, and, it's, know, and it's, really a whole, it's a whole event, so. it's a whole experience it, it, it's definitely a whole experience people show up Friday night, we have we sit down and we have dinner with everybody, right? With with the people that work with WPN, and we have yeah. you know these these this big wheat family style, right? Yeah, that's what we used to do with Full Tilt. I mean, we would like whoever satellited into whatever event we'd go to, we'd have this big uh, meet and greet dinner, yep. and then yep. we'd uh, and, and especially like when we did Australia, uh, when we had the Full Tilt uh, the uh, Aussie Open, we were the, the sponsors of it. Yep. So we had this big dinner, then this big bar thing, and. It yeah. was this whole to do thing, and it was cool, you know. It's so cool. yeah, I understand it. Good so like I said, we, we do the we do the whole dinner thing, and then the, the next morning, the next morning before we start the cage, uh, we take a bus and we go to the WPN offices and we walk everybody through the offices. We set up some computers, show everybody what we have going on for the next features that we have coming on, and uh, and spend a few hours wrapping with the players. Then we play the cage for six hours, and then we have a, a party at night and get everybody incredibly, incredibly drunk and um, <laughs> just completely, completely ruined. 
And then we we're, were kind enough to not start the game until two o'clock the next afternoon. So we let everybody sleep in, play their six hours. And uh, like fun. Um, yeah, well, I'll, it, I'll probably, I, you know, uh, uh, if we all make we'll it through you, this. We'll get you down there, Mike. We'll get you yeah, down be there. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right, man. Once, once JJ. hell, you know, blows over here and everybody's allowed to leave the house. Uh, yeah. That, yeah it's no a to-do sure. list for you, Mike. You got to do it. Are you, are you still in Chicago, JJ? I am, sir. Oh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yes. I, I, I say that every day when I, you know, look at my property taxes. So thank you. Yes. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, <laughs> All right, JJ. Well, I appreciate you calling, brother. I love you, man. I've known this kid since he was like what, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You were no, young. No, that was that was I was I was eighteen. Eighteen, whatever. We'll say. Fuck. So, what are you now? We're, we're like thirty now, though, man. What are you thirty now? Thirty three. Thirty three. Oh married God. with a wife and you know, and a kid, and it's crazy, man. It's uh, yeah, we're we're old. Oh, yeah, you have a re- you have a real life. Yeah, no, no girl wanted to marry me, so I'm still single. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Uh, at least you got lucky. Well, you got there. one now. Lock her up. Oh, uh, no, she likes, she, she just, she's around, you know, she just doesn't like that, me very that's much. Good. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't all have it all. You, all know, right, you got, you can have a girl, <laughs> girlfriend, marriage, whatever, you know, if you get them, if you can, you're able to get them to like you and live with you, then you've done something special, you know? There you go. Yeah. Well, she hasn't left yet. So, you know, mine, yeah, so that's, I keep telling that's, myself that's this every day. Like she hasn't left yet. What the <laughs> fuck? Like, she must somewhat. All right. Well, let I'll let you get. All right, JJ, take care, care, man. We got some other calls. Take care, bro. All right, see ya. All right. JJ's a good guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. Known him since he was a kid. I don't hear it ringing there, Danny. Barely. I can barely hear it. Welcome to the mouthpiece, is Mike. Hello. Hey, Mike. Mike, how you doing, buddy? Good, buddy. Who's this? Uh, my name is Matt, calling from Indiana. Hey, Matt from Indiana. You're on the line with me and the CEO of America's Car Room, Mr. Phil Nagy. Hey, uh, Matt. Oh, how are you, do- hey, how are you doing up, today? Hey, what's up, Phil? I sent you some messages, buddy. You got to get me back. Uh, two questions. Okay. First off, all these people uh, talking shit on the Twitter about how you guys have Tom Brady playing poker, thinking you're going to get closed down. What's your thoughts on these guys? Uh, I think they're crazy. It's it's the, the 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 fact the fact of the matter is 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 the way we set up the tournament is we don't touch any money everybody's it's the whole chair everything goes directly to charity and there's no prizes so everybody's virtually playing for, for playing for play money um, it's it's uh, not only did we have our attorneys look at it but every single name on that list we got through their attorneys as well so it's it's it turns out Twitter attorneys are not as sharp as the rest of them. Yeah. Uh, funny how that works, right? Yeah. It's funny that yeah. you just asked that question. I was going to get at, I was going to get into that question with Phil after we were done taking phone calls. Uh, I was just wondering, like, I was thinking to myself, uh, because, like, uh, you know, when Full Tilt and Poker Stars all got booted so, out of the United States, so is this going to bring... Like- is it going to bring an unwanted attention to an, to your site where it could end up causing problems? I was it's the, the fact the fact is 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 I've never done. If anybody wanted me, they could have be, they could have found me a long time ago, right? Yeah, like, right. Weren't you on ESPN like eight years ago? Yeah, it's 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 in twenty in twenty uh well, twenty fourteen I started streaming. Uh, it's streaming on Twitter uh, on on Twitch. Um, it, it's 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 I've been down here since twenty sixteen. And and here's the thing, uh, full t- full tilt and poker stars, right? Um, it, it's it's they they got they got they, they got their URLs taken, um, not because they were out there, not because they were publicity. They made some mistakes and broke some and broke some rules that you right. don't break. Yeah, and right? I know what a lot of those were. They they, they made yeah, some mistakes. tried to buy a bank, right? Uh, yeah, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> It's, yeah. it's, it's, the, the fact is, the fact is, is, um, is, is I'm still here. It's, it's, and, and since, since, since poker stars and full tilt left the U S market, there are no laws that changed. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, uh, it, all I did was learn from their mistakes and I'm not going to make the mistakes that they made. Yeah. It makes sense. You know? yeah. yeah. I was thinking the same thing. I'm thinking, man, I'm like, Phil's got all these fucking big time people playing this charity tournament. Isn't that going to like make the 
I was thinking, is that going to like bring the government to like zero in on him and close him down? And I was, I was going to ask you that question before we got off the it's, air. It's, it's, we, we've never been, we've never been hiding, right? Yeah, I mean, you haven't. If they wanted to close you down, they already would have. That's what I was thinking. Hey, at least Tom Brady's friends with Trump, so that probably helps. Yeah. See, look at that. Exactly. And, uh, <laughs> that's what I was hey, Tom, thinking. Tom, Tom, can you? Call? No, I'm just joking. I'm just yeah. Joking. <laughs> and you have one other question for uh, Phil. Uh, yeah, second question. Um, did you remove all the rat hole tables from all the other skins? And uh, this is, I sent you this message on Skype asking about you planned on closing all the skins. When is that going to happen when it's one name? And if it's, someone so, wanted to move to the ACR skin, what needs to happen for that to happen in the meantime? So, so here's, here's, here's what happened. It, it's the, the, rat, the rat hole tables uh, became incredibly popular and they're super high stakes. Hello? Uh, it's it's and uh, and they're super cool. Uh, people really like them. Uh, what I was seeing is is people were having an account on five different skins, right? And they weren't breaking any terms and conditions by you know yeah. running up a stack to you know fifty big blinds and then playing on a different skin. Uh, it's it's right. so I said you're not breaking any terms and conditions because they're different skins. Um, it's, so I removed the tables from all the other skins and put it only on America's card room because okay. the rat, that's what the rat hole is about. It's about, you know, if you want to, if, if you want to lose, if you want to get rid of your stack, then you sit out for a week. Right. Um, it's, 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 and over the next six months or eight months, I'll, I'll solve that problem by having one winning screen name. You'll be able to log into any, any one of the skins that you'd like. But so for the players, you will always have that screen name, right? But you can play on any skin. So it, it's, it's, it's you, you're not, I'm not going to, I don't like the fact that a player can have two faces. You know what I mean? Right, exactly. Oh, right? yeah. For it, sure. That's not There's what skins were designed that. for. Skins were designed to attract different markets. And, and, and turns out uh, it, it's uh, 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 Yah Poker, which is Poker Now sells better in brazil because it's in in portuguese in, in spanish it's put means poker now than america's card room. sure america's card room doesn't sell very well down there so it's it's but it wasn't meant to give people multiple faces uh it's it's in a in a in a in a game so it's but combining it all to one screen name is technically difficult and it's a lot of work right um, we've got it slated. Right. It's going to happen. And I'm, and I'm going to guess it's going to happen the first quarter of next year. Um, a lot of high stakes players have reached out to us and they've closed all their other accounts, moved all their money over to their ACR account so they can play the rat hole tables. And that's just one yeah, more step. Yeah, to, and one more step to uh, uh, security. It looks like there's a smaller player pool playing the rat hole tables. It's not. It's just a smaller number of screen names. Yes. So I I, I, I did did it because I didn't want to allow people to. It felt cheaty, right? Oh yeah, definitely, man. It's uh, they did that a lot of before you guys got rid of the heads up tables. That was a big problem where they would come in and they would, you know, switch names constantly. You're playing the same guy on three different names, four different names, and you could tell by how he's playing, but obviously it's a different name. And you know, it's, 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 I, I take a lot of flack on Twitter. Right. And, and, and I stand up for, I stand up to it and it's, it's, I actually, it's, it's, I, I'm just, just I, you, if you're following me, you know, I troll them right back. Right. <laughs> oh yeah. Buddy. You know, Twitter is a um, fucking fuck button in my car, man. Well, you know what? It, it's, 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 I, I just decided I'm never, I'm never going to do the ostrich thing ever again. Right. I'm just going to get right out there, take it on the chin and give it right back to him on the chin. Um, but I will say, uh, it's I personally made the decision to get rid of heads up cash game tables um, because of exactly the same kind of things that you're talking about that I don't yep. think that I don't think that any poker site can police them properly. The day I feel that I can police them properly heads up because heads up. Well, is, is, isn't that the most safest version of head, is playing head up cash games? Or? No, heads up cash. Heads up cash like, is the easiest one to solve. Right. Right. Collusion, it's easier to but stay away from, it, but yeah, as far as solvers and stuff go, yeah, for, so, for those, uh, the blitz and tables you added for Beyond Blitz heads up is the That's easiest to solve. Heads up short would be even the, the most, the easiest, the easiest, right? Yeah. Um, right, it's, yeah, it's, for sure. So, so that's that's why I don't I don't offer heads up cash. 
right? Um, the only thing it's you well, have the blitz I'll, I'll take, tables, right? I take it back. You got, you got I take it back. Again. I do have I do have heads up cash in a in a fast fold format. Rush poker blitz zoom whatever the hell you want to call it. We call right. it blitz. Right. Um, but I changed it up a little bit. Minimum buy-in is 200 big blinds. Maximum buy-in is 500 big blinds because that oh, makes yeah. it much, much more difficult, much more, diff more difficult for any bot or any solver to find because you're playing super deep and you're playing something, somebody new every hand. I don't know. I play against all them fucking solvers and kick their asses all the time. So I don't even know. About <laughs> it. I don't even know if they're even teaching people right. I'm like, right. like Phil Helmets and me, we, we joke around. We're like, them, we're like, give me all those fucking solvers in a poker game. Uh, we'll take our chances. So. <laughs> Hell yeah. You heard well, it here I first. I appreciate you adding the Blitz ones back. And uh, one, if I could ask one request, can you take the Blitz heads up off of the five table cap? Because it's awfully tough when you got to wait for people and you're trying to play games in the meantime. Because obviously, yeah. as you know, it takes a little while to get the heads up pool going. Uh, right, right now, right now, I, right now I can't because Blitz is Blitz. Um, I do, we do have it on the list. If you, uh, if you go to, I'm going to plug our new website. Uh, if you go to poker.org, yeah, by the way, if you go to poker.org, right. Uh, that's, we have a forum there that we take, uh, take questions for all of our, uh, it's, it's website features. Um, it's eventually going to become. A, we're, we're looking to make it eventually a, a community for uh, YouTube videos for uh, the, the whole poker world where we can uh, where we can listen to what you guys want and um, and, and we can be make it everything that you want it to be. So go in there, post post about, you know, making take removing those from the cap. I think it's already there. There may be already a thread there. Um, uh, and yeah, I and think I posted it. The, the, the more the more people that go in there and 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 you know it's it's squeaky wheel gets the grease the more people that want it that puts the more pressure on us to make sure that that gets higher up because you can only do so many things at a time you know what i mean yeah for sure it's definitely uh hashtag good for poker so we appreciate you. what hey, you guys are doing here in america how, and uh it's it's been it's been a good ride for the last you know seven eight years yeah. how good is hashtag good for poker that's it that's my that's Buddy, my that motto poker good for poker make poker is, fun again yeah, I, all I don't know how shit. you got that name it's it's, it's that, that was that was original phil it's, it's i just said you know what it's it's let's do something hashtag good for poker sounds well, good yeah buddy we appreciate you uh check right, your I messages appreciate... on skype after this hit me back all i will right. do that we appreciate thanks, the brother. call man thanks a thanks. lot tell your friends thanks. listen to the show thanks boys Thank have you. a good one you got it yeah that's good man See, half the things you're talking about, I don't even have a clue. We have a so. question from some yeah. idiot in the chat who won't shut up. You How many more security from... personnel has Phil hired since Ingram's cast? Did you um, hear that how one? How many more? Well, it, it's since when Ingram's cast came out, uh, we were a company of around 100, and now we're a company of around 200. There you go. That'll shut that guy up. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, see... Hold on, we got we're, we got another phone call. Hold on, hold on. Welcome to the mouthpiece. It's Mike. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Are you? Hey, this is Mike. Welcome to the mouthpiece. What's up? Hi. Uh, can I ask two questions? You sure can. You but that was your okay. first one. <laughs> okay, first question. Your comedy skits videos on youtube are absolutely hilarious so i was wondering if uh are you gonna make any more of those anytime soon oh yeah well we were um i had a i had a i had a com i had a postal one in the works uh oh and then, and then all this shit happened so i had to uh and my editor doesn't like uh we haven't been able to come over it's like we, we we're really being careful about people coming into the house and us working on stuff together and so, you know, I'm just, everything's kind of on hold for a month. I'm kind of working on uh, the, my book, my new book. Uh, and then if I'm right. not working on that, I'm working on playing fucking in private games with this donkey over here that it's, it's on the chat with us. Uh, so he's fun to play with. So that's what I'm kind of doing right now. Okay, cool. But, uh, uh, do you have any okay. uh, questions for Phil at all or for me or? Uh, do, you plan, do you plan America's card room at all? Uh, no, I don't. I'm hang up no. on him now. Hang up. Oh, I'm just joking. Get rid of him. <laughs> okay. 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 Next question. Uh, um, go ahead. Who's the biggest asshole that you've met over your career of poker? Mike Matisau. 
Uh, <laughs> the biggest asshole I met in my career of poker. Oh, God. There's so many assholes. Mikey, fix your uh, camera and put on some pants. Oh, shit. My camera fell down. Oh, shit. I wasn't, say I wasn't saying anything. I was just sitting there <laughs> looking at your nuts. That's funny. That is really funny. Is it fixed now? Fucker. Yeah, you're good. That's funny. How about Daniel Negrano? Is he mean? Nah, he's cool. He's a nice guy. Everybody's a nice guy. Um, I'm a little pissed off about my nuts being shown there. That's fucked up. So, uh, uh, no, um, there's, there's a lot of assholes in poker. I probably don't want to name any names. Uh, <laughs> everybody in the poker world knows who they are. Uh, they're, it's widely regarded by everybody in the poker world. When you bring up a certain person's name, that cer certain person has said, that guy's a dick. By pretty much everybody in poker, so uh, so that's you, right? No, that's not me. But I, um, I, uh, I, I don't know. I don't want to drop any names right now. Uh, all that's going to do is get me in trouble. Uh, but they know who they are. Um, I'll, I'll say this. I'll say this. There's there's some of the some of the best people I've ever met in 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 my life in the poker world, right? Just, just yeah. some some really really good people. I've also seen the dark side of some really, really good people because, you know, emotions get involved. Fuck, right? you saw my dark side fucking twice this week, man. And I don't even have that dark side. I, I, oh, yeah. I kind of enjoyed his dark side. <laughs> Sun doesn't shine over there. It's, it's, it's great. Um, uh, it, it's, it's, and I'm trying to think of, um, and you know, it's, it's, I guess I, I, I I'd say the worst, the, 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 I don't want to drop any specific names, but anybody anybody who motherfucks the dealer, right? Oh yeah, they're losing a hand oh, is just a douchebag, right? Like yeah. they're just they're just they're just not. Mm -hmm. it, it's that when when that comes out in you, right? Yeah. And then you don't apologize. Yeah. Uh, it's it's you know, Phil. What's worse than that? And I tell people all the time because <clears throat> I used to be a dealer is when they lose a hand and they leave their cards in front of them to make the dealer reach out and grab them. That is way worse than the motherfucker of the dealers. And I know who those fucking players are too. And uh, so does the rest of the poker world. But um, Poor dealers are paid no, minimum wage, right? That. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, hope. But the thing is, I, I hope some of these dealers are going to be able to get, get a, a good government kickback because uh, they did make less than 70. Well, even though they probably make more than 75,000. No, they don't make more than that. They all make less than 75,000 a year. They should be able it's to make a lot some of, It's a lot of tips, right? Yeah, a lot of exactly. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you calling in. Uh, thanks for listening to the mouthpiece yep. and uh, call in anytime. Thanks a lot. You're you awesome, it, Mike. Later. Thank you, buddy. All right. That's all, right. all for now. All right. He's he's really got he's really got me thinking. I'm I like like. Hold I, on, Helm is calling me. I got a fucking. Oh, Helmuth! How did yeah. we not say that? Hey, hey Phil, hey, we're I'm on the. Hey, Listen, I'm doing a mouthpiece right now with me and Phil Nagy. Uh, you want to uh, come in here and talk with us? Are you live? Right we're, now? Yeah, we're live on Zoom. You want me to text you the our Zoom connection and jump? You could. Oh, we got a call coming in. You want me to do that, Phil? Uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm good. Unless you really want All right. me. All right, we might. We might, I might text it to you. I got to answer this call. Bye. Right. Welcome to mouthpiece. Is Mike? Yo, Mike. It's Frank from Georgia. What's up, man? What's up, Frank? How's it going, man? You're on live with me and uh, the CEO of America's Car Room, uh, Phil Nagy. How's it going? How's oh, it going? Nice. What's going on, man? What y'all up to? Oh, uh, we are we are talking online poker. We're talking a big charity tournament that we have running on uh, his site tomorrow uh, with uh, a lot of top name celebrities: Ben Affleck, Tom Brady. Uh, oh, nice. A few. What are the pros going to? Uh, uh, feeding America. Yeah, it's all about uh, that. Uh, Phil, Phil has uh, donated um, uh, his time. A million yeah, dollars. A million dollars. He's donated a million and my dollars. Time. And my time. And his time. That's awesome, man. That's great. Uh, I have a question for you. Did you see my reply to the cameo you made for me? Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, but I will check it out. Is this the one I made yesterday? Yeah, were you stoned yesterday when you made it, or what? 
<laughs> I was stoned one of the days when I made it, when I made somebody's. But, uh, uh, it was, was it was it good? You don't read, did I put out? Did I do a good no, one or dude, no? It, it it sucked. It looked at like you're worse than some people reading off a uh, what's it called that. Uh, uh, then I'll have to give uh, you another one, man. What the fuck, man? That's good uh, that you t- to tell me this. You know, it I'll was. Tell you, uh, I'll, I'll, tell I'll tell you what. It's it's it's. I was trying I feel to fucking like advertise do stand-up my comedy. online poker site, man. I I was running a private game with friends and family. I was trying to advertise it. <laughs> so, uh, it's all good, man. I did I bomb it? If I bombed it, I feel terrible. On, uh, you know, I, I woke up yesterday, right? Uh, right? What happened is, is these days are going by really fast, and they give you like four days to do a cameo, right? So I right, click right. on my on my little cameo, and it says you have a new cameo. Um, and right. I, when I when I click on it, I say, okay, I'll just do it tomorrow, right? And and then the, tomorrow le- you lose track of days, and the next thing you know, it says you have 13 hours to do this cameo, right? No, it's all good, man. Oh, man I, ain't I, mad got- at you. I was just fucking with you, really. No, it's all good, but I, it's funny though. I, I want you to laugh a little bit. So I go and I and I just smoked a little bit of pot to go to sleep. So uh-huh. I'm a little bit stoned, and I'm like, and I'm start reading off this cameo, right? And I'm like, and I'm bouncing back and forth. I'm like, man, I'm way too stoned to do this. And then I'll be like. I got to get up in the morning and do it. So like, so like I had one that uh, it said I was doing 11 hours and I woke up and I missed it by like two minutes and I had to, oh, shit. Get, and when you miss it by, uh, by the deadline, you have to, you have to, uh, you'd have to do it for free. Redo so it. like, I think oh, I was okay. half stoned and I had like six of them to do. And yours might have been one of them when I was half stoned. But well, it I definitely home. was because I sent it to a few of my friends and they, they <laughs> all had the same response. I'm going to snapshot their uh, messages and send them to you on Twitter. They said, is he drunk or high? <laughs> no, I don't drink. I don't drink. I don't even smoke pot. I just smoke pot like to go to sleep a lot of times. And uh, but then like sometimes been, dude, when I I've see my smoke pot in my life, dude, I've been eating edibles just to go to sleep at night because I've been so freaking miserable with this. Quarantine. Right. Well, that's what I usually do, you know, and uh, all of a sudden well, lately. Uh, not to cut you off, I wanted to tell you, you didn't answer your Twitter. You told me to DM you on Twitter. I uh, Basically, you lost 500 because I, was, I, was, I told you I was willing to pay you 500 to make this video, but then I got it for 20 bucks on Cameo. So <laughs> There you go, man. You lose, you lose. There you go. <laughs> that's all that matters, uh, man. I know, right, man? Uh, I've been playing a lot of online, dude, and it's been the juiciest I ever seen in my life, man. It's like uh, Don Kevin. Online poker right now is really, really, really fucking juicy. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's like uh, it's like the poker boom all over again. The only difference is one hundred percent. It's pretty fun. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I mean, like, my, I, I was my, playing. I never played PLO eight or better in my life. Like I played maybe three or four times. I suck at it. I'm not gonna lie. I know how to play PLO, but uh, you know, it, there's a one two game running. But everyone's got like fifteen hundred two grand on the table. So I sit, and it's just like they're getting it in with like no like they're calling all in with low draws. But there's only one card. You know they're what I'm terrible. saying? Like they're looking for runner runner. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I've been playing a little. I've, I've been playing on a so, site um, where I've I've been playing on a site where I. Anyway, played, man, uh, if I could, uh, if if there's any way I could get you to uh, respond to my DM, Frank uh, Mitchell G A on uh, Twitter. Let me take and, a look. I got, a oh, I got it right here for you, Frank Mitchell G H. I got you. Let me accept you. All right, there you go. Now I can, it says, uh, Mike, please give me a yes or no answer. Willing to pay you five hundred free will. Wait a minute. See? You would pay me three hundred and a free entry into a tournament if I could get if you if I could get you to to play. Let me. What do you want me to play? Uh, I'm, I'm of, doing uh, a private tournament just with friends and family, and uh, it's going to be like a two one dollar tournament. I should have about a hundred people in it. And yeah, uh, I was gonna I'll, see I'll, I'll play you. in it, man. Just let me know what day it is. Yeah, I was going to put a bounty on you or whatever. Let you yeah, you got it. You could yeah, put me it. in the tournament. Put a bounty on me and uh, tell me when and where. And now that I accepted you, I'll get your, uh, I'll have it pop up on, uh, uh, cause I always check at least once a day. I check my, uh, my DMS and a lot of times I don't Sounds good. Um, I, and I, I follow a lot of people that are, that are my fans out there. You know, like I was telling somebody the other day, uh, uh Negrano had put out, uh, follow this guy. He's the first fan I, I've ever followed. And I'm thinking, wow. I'm like, I follow my, I follow like 10 different fans every day. You know, because without Damn. your fans, what do, what do you really have, you know? Yeah, so, true that, exactly. 
Well, it was good talking to you, man. Keep you it too, up. Man. I, like I appreciate you calling in the show. Gives us sorry sorry about the cameo. Uh, awesome. I'll, I'll, I'll have cool, to make man. it up to you, man. All right, buddy. All take right. care. Take care, brother. Later. Run good. Bye. You got it. Yeah, so uh, I woke up. I think I was still half stoned when I woke up. I'm like, fuck, man. I got to get these cameos done. I wasn't even awake yet. And I'm reading off the shit. And I'm like, yeah, this is Mike. I'm like... And I, I, I did it. I said, and you, you go over it before you uh, release it out. And I'm like, I sound a little stone, but fucking I'm like the mouth. All, they're, they're fine with it, right? I didn't feel like redoing it. It's probably one of his. That's uh, awesome. You know, the cameos, you know, I was, char- I was charging 20 uh, and I'm giving it all to charity. I, I upped it to 25 because uh, yesterday, only because of the fact that I'm getting, every, with everybody quarantined, I'm getting so many cameo requests so uh i'm getting anywhere between like 10 and 20 a day and um they only take like 30 seconds uh but when i end up uh you know we're playing we're playing poker online and doing other things and i and i end up forgetting about it so uh i made i up them from 20 to 25 and uh whatever i, I i'm giving all the money to charity when it's all said and done so uh i'm waiting for it to reach to uh 10, and then I'm going to get to charity. I think I have uh, 1100 bucks put uh, from the cameos uh, stored so far. Uh, oh, we got another call. Oh, welcome to the mouthpiece. This is Mike. Who's this? Hey, Mike. This is Sammy from up here in the Midwest. How are you doing? What's up, Sammy? You're on uh, live with uh, me and uh, the CEO of America's Car Room, Mr. Phil Nagy. How are you doing? How's it going? I'm doing good. I was wondering, um, when you won the 2016 National Heads Up um, Championship, was that one of the more uh, gratifying wins in your career? I I always told everybody the 2002 Omaha Eight or Better Championship was the best because I was uh, I was uh, coming off of uh, crystal meth. I was hooked on meth, and I I quit cold turkey, and to I was considered the best Omaha Eight player in the world. So winning that yep. always, always was my number one. But um, I, uh, I, I think that, that the NBC head up was probably tops it. So um, th- those two are num- my one or two in uh, whatever way you want to put it. So uh, those are, those are, yeah, those were both, uh, both big wins. Definitely. And uh, one other question in like 1998, when Scotty Wynn won the, uh, of course, when he won the main event, you had a piece of that. Uh, when that all ended, what was the uh, what was the atmosphere and what was the party like that night after that happened? Wow, that was uh, that was pretty incredible. So, uh, you know, there's a long story about it. I don't know about it's probably all in my book and everything, but about how I ended right, up yeah. having a third of them in, in, of that tournament. Um, yep. It was fun because like I was, I was grinding. I just uh, gotten uh, become a professional poker player. My cat is knocking my fucking camera off. Hold on a second. Um, what are you doing? Flash, come here. Come here, you old cat. So uh, yeah, it was, a, I mean, it was fun. Uh, we partied, we drank, we got a limo. Oh, we, yeah. we had a lot of fun, you know, but um it's got it. You know, it's so funny. It's like, that's 22 years ago and it, it just seems like yesterday, you know, it's oh, just wow. amazing yeah. how the, how the, how the, how the times go by. Um, my dad used to always tell me that, that like live life to its fullest every day because life goes by fast. And, uh, sure. it's, it's really weird when you're, you're like from like 15 to 18 when you're in high school, it seems like those years go by so slow. And then like after you turn 21, like the years go by so fast and my, my life after from like 30 to now has just yep. zoomed by. I mean, it's just crazy. That's, yep. Know? That's no joke. Uh, 15 to 18 or 21, it went slow. Now, I mean, I'm 35, but the last 10 years, 15 years, it's just, it's insanely quick. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So you got to live life to its fullest, enjoy life. And, um, and, uh, and that's about it. So my cat. And is I guess crazy. The, the last thing I want to ask before I get off the line here is uh, 
in any future podcast, do you think you might have anyone from the professional uh, betting world, maybe some professional sports gamblers, maybe um, a couple of uh, professional sports books from the casinos or maybe a couple of guests oh, like that? Yeah. I know there's nothing to really talk about now. Uh, you know, it's funny. I mean, I've had uh, I, I've had some of the top sports gamblers in the world on my show. Um, I've had Billy Baxter on the show. He's probably the sure. one of the top, top Biggest one in the percent. world of all time. Yeah. Yeah. And so I've had him, uh, I was actually, uh, I've been in discussions with a, uh, major casino here in Vegas, uh, sure. that, uh, before this all happened, uh, I was very close to, uh, signing a deal and I'm with them. And part of that is they want me to, uh, to run my podcast out of their sports book. Um, so, uh, oh, that's, in the work. that's in the works too. Um, there's, there's a lot of stuff in the work. So, uh, yeah, that'll, uh, you know, we were all looking forward. I also, uh, I joined forces with a guy named Wayne Allen root. Uh, he used to, Oh yeah. Great, he's, he's a world champion, uh, handicapper, right? Really great handicapper. He's, he's full of shit half yeah. the time and talks a lot of bullshit, but he's a, you know, you have to, when you're a handy, you know, he's, but he's a great sports handicapper. Uh, me and Phil Hamuth, uh, we're going to, uh, we signed on to, to be part of his show, uh, uh, a betting show that's going to be on one of the television stations out here. So that's another thing that was going to happen before all this went down. So uh, all that's like in limbo. We don't know if the NFL, what's going to happen. You know, we're a long ways away from uh, whether uh, they're going to even have a, a season here. You know, we don't know right. what, we, nobody knows what, what's, what, 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 what's, what, what's going to happen in America or the world here in the next few months. So sorry about that. My stupid yep. cat just knocked my fucking camera over because that's what he does. Um, so, you know, well, we'll uh, thanks for taking the time and I'll let you get back to some more callers and, uh, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for the call. And, uh, thanks for listening to the mouthpiece. All right. Bye. All right. Later. Yeah, so um is Helmuth going to join us? Uh that's a good question. I, I asked him if he wanted, he's like, Well no, well let, let you want me to. Let me see. If day day starts playing with us, keep oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Let me ask him. Let's see if Phil's gonna jump in here. I can us. text him talking. the link to join. No, I already checked on the link to join. Hang on a second. So, um, I just texted them. Anyways, uh, I gave him. I gave him the link. I said, "Are you going to join? Join? Jump on? Maybe he might. He may. He might not. So uh, you know, we'll see what happens." Uh, Phil is Phil. It would be fun to get on there so fucking so Phil can can laugh at him a little bit from that beat he put on him. But no, we have a. Uh, the truth of the matter is, you know, for all, all the people listening, is uh, we have a good little private game. Uh, it's a no rate game. We play. Uh, on a little poker app, and then we all jump here into the Zoom. Usually there's between six and nine of us in there, uh, and there's a lot of needling going on, and it's it's kind of getting us through this shit. Right, Phil? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's, you gotta, you got to find, find new ways to be social, right? Um, it's it's, it's it just, just don't, don't let yourself go to that dark, dark place, right? Is, is reach out, talk to somebody, um it's because when you're when you're sitting at home and and you can go there and it, and, it, and there's just nothing healthy happening there. I'm, I'm not gonna you know people listen to the show they know me I, I i tell it like it is i got in that dark place two days ago uh and i uh whenever i've gotten in that place i've took a little bit of lexapro for a couple of weeks um it's an antidepressant it, and it gets me over the top we got another call coming in well to the mouthpiece is mike Hey, Mike's Kevin from Minnesota. What's going on, buddy? How are you? Good. Um, my question is for Phil. I'm from uh, Minnesota, and how do I get to play online poker for real money on ECR? Uh, download. 
and follow the well, instruction. I, <laughs> there you go. America's car well, and... America's car Download the app, follow the instructions, and there you go. There's, there's, yeah, there's, I did, I did that, and then, then it's like, uh, is there a certain credit card I can use or a debit card because my bank won't let me? Uh, that's, uh, that's a good question. Um, Bitcoin is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Learn about it, invest in it, and poker players love it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I had a problem. Yeah. So you, what you do is you is what what's going to happen is uh, I had that same problem when I played on America's Card Room uh, about a year ago. And what they do is uh, they'll uh, eventually with the the credit card companies they block it because they know it's to a foreign place uh, uh, where the uh, processors go through. So you got to uh, uh, you have to call the credit card company. Uh, I'm sure Phil doesn't want to say anything, so I'll say it for you. Uh, call the credit card company and tell them that you are approving of of the uh, amount of money you want to deposit and that you approve of it. Um, and if you call the credit card, the one eight 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 hundred number on there, they'll uh, they'll get the transfer through to you. They have a they have an automatic block of something that looks strange, and that's why you can't get it through. So why don't oh, you, okay. you can try? It. Yeah, go ahead and try that, and, I, and I'm sure you'll have no problems. I have All better right, well, luck you. with Hi, ACH. I uh, enjoy your podcast. I'll talk to All you right, later. Man. I appreciate it. Thanks for Thanks. calling. Later. What'd you say, computer? I have better luck with ACH. Yeah, you do? You're an ACH. You're a fucking jerk off, fucking computer. Quit jerking off, you fucking computer. Uh, so, anyways. Well, uh... Listen, this has been, uh, we have uh, been a good hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. We got poker to play against each other. Uh, hey, we do have, have some poker to play against. Uh, turn, turns out I have a little event going on tomorrow, right? Okay. And since since we've been talking, I have uh, 115 messages. <laughs> okay. There you so, go. Um, I, it's, it's, I don't, I don't mean to mean to be rude, but it's, it's, uh, I have a little event to, to okay. get together. Um, for those of you who have some time on your hands, um, it's, it's go to Twitch, watch, watch the celebrity challenge and, and watch, uh, and donate to feeding America. Um, if you are one of those more fortunate people that can, uh, spare a little, it goes a long way. And uh, if you want to just have some entertainment is go to America's card room or any number of different uh, Twitch channels or Mike himself will be streaming the streaming the tournament. Yep. We'll be playing for absolutely nothing except for pride. Right. That's it. And uh, it's it's that means Mike's absolutely going to win. Yeah, absolutely going to win. And, and when it says I win a million dollars, all you motherfuckers out there that think that I have a million dollars, I don't. So don't call I me cannot, to have I cannot pay back. wait to hear those stories. I cannot oh, wait to hear those I, stories. You know I'm gonna win because I just because sure. this is what I, I I this is what I do to myself. I put myself in spots where everybody's like, Ah, my, Mike, you want a million bucks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Go fuck yourself. I have nothing. This, this I don't have to have, then I'm gonna have to have law. you come on. I'm gonna have to you come come on and have to spin this story. No, I know you. You'll probably come on and say, He's lying, he got paid a million, fuck with him. I got it on the blockchain. I got it on the blockchain. There go get go. So listen, <laughs> Phil, we appreciate you having coming Thanks on. Thanks for having me, Mike. I really um, appreciate it. We will uh, hopefully raise a lot of money for food for people in need uh, during the coronavirus. Uh, just whatever we're fucking going through. And uh, I appreciate you coming on. And uh, anything else you need to plug on the show right now? For the stay community. safe, stay positive, and be hashtag good for poker. Hashtag good for poker. You heard it. All right, Thank Phil. You. Thanks a lot, man. I'll talk Have to you later. later. All right. Peace. Bye. All righty. So, um, I hope you, uh, we're going to wrap this up and, uh, I hope you all enjoyed a, uh, another episode of the mouthpiece podcast. Um, we had a good guest today with Phil Nagy. Um, and, uh, I hope you, uh, I'll check back soon. And uh, we're going to have a another podcast probably in about three days. Trying to get two out a week. Thanks for listening to The Mouthpiece. I appreciate you. And I'll talk to you all very soon. The Mouthpiece. All right, computer. That was a good show. Um, hey, thanks for having me, Mike.
Yeah, you're welcome, Phil. Thanks a lot, man.